Hey everybody and welcome to episode 2 of my Jaws of the Lion Deadly Difficulty playthrough of the Gloomhaven Digital DLC. In this playthrough we are trying to do a as natural playthrough of the Jaws of the Lion content as possible, trying to not use too much more of the regular Gloomhaven stuff that is mixed in with the campaign. Also, you might have noticed that we are having to play Barrow Lair here. When this game first came out, the DLC just came out. You did need to complete both Black Barrow and Barrow Lair in order to be able to move on to the Jaws of the Lion content. Now, since this has come out, they have now actually removed this requirement. So now you can get straight into Jaws of the Lion content right from a brand new campaign if you select the DLC. So that's really, really nice. But because I did kind of do these first missions here, I thought I may as well leave them in because we did do these first two missions. And also another thing that they have done recently is they've actually now tuned down the difficulty in both Roadside Ambush and Hole in the Wall. The first two missions of the Jaws of the Lion content, they were very difficult and you'll see so as I play through them here. Um, yeah, but they are quite difficult, a little bit too much maybe, and uh, they sort of responded to the community feedback that they were a little bit too hard maybe for what are supposed to be kind of early game scenarios, or at least these have actually been adapted from the tutorial missions. So they were the tutorial missions that were then fleshed out to be full missions in the digital versions. So it didn't make sense for them to be as hard as they were. Having said that, though, as a point of pride, we do go to Roadside Ambush and play it as the unnerfed version, or at least as the unnerfed version that was released. I believe this level has now been nerfed about twice, maybe even three times. But yeah, this was the state of it when it was released officially with the DLC on that Tuesday. Big thank you to my patron supporters whose names are coming up on screen now. I really, really appreciate it. And especially thanks to Mike Kira for the legendary support. I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to get involved in backing on Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash manage request for early access to my videos and a shout out in the vids. And of course, come over to twitch.tv slash mandatory quest every Monday, Wednesday and Sunday if you'd like to catch me playing Jaws of the Lion live because I'm pretty much just playing that at the moment. Okay, let's get in to this episode of the Deadly Playthrough. Okay, we spent all of our gold last time. So we got everything that we needed. So we're pretty much just ready to go, right? We're going to do a road event though. I'll let you guys vote on this one. Okay, let's get the votes. That would help if I had the tab open. Right, all time. Oh, and if we want to do... Um, if we want to do a prediction... Uh, Phantom? If you want to do that prediction, I think that would be pretty cool one to do. Let's just get it queued up, maybe. Ready to go. Okay. Stumbling through the woods, you are alarmed to hear the sudden sounds of a large animal rummaging through the underbrush. You crouch down, gauging the grunts and growls. Through the trees, you see a large bear approaching your location. It has not noticed you yet, but you imagine it will soon. Do you want to option one, take the opportunity to run from the bear before it gets any closer? Or option two, attack the bear, hopefully catching it by surprise. Poke the bear. Apparently, everybody wants to poke the bear. Everyone's going for that now. You guys don't like bears or something? Jeez. Maybe it'll be our friend. Not if we attack it. <laughs> Not if we attack it. We're 100% of the votes to attack it. I think that's gone out of the window. That's not my chance of that happening, is it? Attack the bear then, I guess. Bear roars as you approach, making powerful spies of his claws. Still, with the surprise and the commotion, the bear is not all that committed to the fight. After a bit of back and forth, the animal grunts and runs off. You have been wounded. Not a, not a terrible one. We can, we can deal with that. Could have been worse. I think, like, discarding cards or actually physical damage can be... What? The stench of death and rotting flesh gets thicker as you kick past the corpse. Oh yeah, we know we know all about this. So we need to make a key change to our boy Axel. Double throw is coming in. 
and power pitch is going to be the play so i think we'll probably get rid of probably makes sense to get rid of extra lift here considering that this is gonna be i mean we're not gonna yeah it makes sense to get rid of extra lift because we're gonna be burning this anyway So we're going to go for the double the value of our next attack and power pitch to attack for 12. Well, it'll be 6 plus the favorite. 9. Double. 18. E. Chief of Staff? Yeah. You know, like uh, in the U.S. I think it's in the White House, right? Is it someone? Chief of Staff? To the uh, president. And she's the chief of staff. It's a very prestigious position, I think. I don't know. I've seen it in movies and TV shows. <laughs> um, reveal a room tile by opening a door on your turn. Yeah. Oh, no. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen because it's always, it's probably going to be Ruby opening this door. Gain 13 or more experience points. Kill five or more monsters. None of these things are possible. I guess we just go hard on the experience. Objective, apply any negative condition to a monster while you have any negative condition. Well, we have wound. That's a negative condition. I could just go barrage on the first turn, but then we don't play the favorite on the first turn, which kind of sucks. I guess I could keep the wound for a couple of turns. Sure, I mean, this is going to happen, right? This is easy. I, I've never liked these ones, right? I mean, I could potentially do it because it's going to be a quick scenario, but if you consider that we're going to be going this, which is two. Sorry, this, which is one. This is just two. That's three already. Four, five. We're at five XP just to do the combo to kill the boss. And then we're going to have all of the other enemies to deal with as well. There's going to be a good number of other enemies to deal with as well. So it's really... It's just not going to happen. Even though this is the kind of scenario where this might work out. Because it's going to be a relatively short one, hopefully. Even for this character, it's not going to be. We're going to get to five just with the combo. So... We'll go for Transmitter. I think we got a good chance of doing that. Recluse, never end your turn adjacent to any of your allies. Very hard to do. Very hard to do. Especially early on. Let's do take any short rest. We'll just have to maybe try and keep an eye on this. I'll forget, chat. Don't you worry. You'll have to remind me. Okay. Let's do it, chat. Why isn't Recluse two perk points? I don't know. Is it supposed to be two perk points? I can't remember. All right. Well, we know what we want to do on the first turn. We've got two zero damage stun traps. We can pull these two in straight away. We know what we're doing here. We're going to play the favorite. The shield spikes the first turn. What do we think? Kind of makes sense to just shield spikes the first turn. Oh, I was going to pull, right? I was going to pull. Swift strength. All right, we won't shield spikes down. We'll Swiss strength. And maybe we'll... I need some kind of shield, don't I? Really? Is 
That's my bottom shield. Maybe I should use... Um, no, it's because I don't have the pulse. Yeah, it's got to be swift strength. Pulse. That is definitely like the best play here. Two of them are going to be stunned. That's fine. Oh, I want to get a bless there. Maybe try and get double bless or something. Give an extra shield. Demo here. Do a lob charge turn. Something like this will be fine. Hey, Dion. Just arrived. Any level ups? No, we're still level one on everybody. 14 was pretty much as bad as I could have hoped for. <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> I can at least stun two things, which is nice. Um. Is this going to be a good time to apply chain armor? Probably not, but... Dude. They're going to go to there. They're going to split. I may as well. I'm probably going to long rest before I go into the next room anyway. I may as well. I can play this one pretty quick. Full Jaws Battle Goals are one perk point. Is that just... Is that from the game? But of a lot of people... I mean, I think it's interesting that in Jaws, because of the number of scenarios and things, maybe they did, like, the battle goals were maybe different or, you know, balanced in a different way just because of the fact it was a Jaws, the Jaws scenarios, right? I think it raises an interesting question. I don't, I don't honestly know. And I haven't seen, an, I haven't played with them enough right now to have a, a really good feeling on it. I just like the variety, to be honest. Yes, it's physical. Hold him up. and just push. <laughs> Favorite going. They want to be pulled into traps too. Looks like it, huh? Uh, where's a good place to put a trap in this one? There, maybe? Pull this guy into this trap. Probably going to pull again next turn, huh? Hang on, what? Why can't I place a trap there? Is that a bug? That's got to be a bug. Does it think it's an obstacle? It's playing it like it's an obstacle rule. 
I should be able to place a trap though, right? Ah, Jeffs. Ah, it's playing it as if it's like an obstacle rule. Go for this so we can get our perk point, our uh, battle gold done straight away. I think it's just easy, right? We have both of these so we can do another big pull, right? This is where Blade Dance comes into play, potentially. Nice big blade dance. Maybe attack something too. Or we just go for the big heal. The loot heal thing. Let's go warrior of the sun. I like that. We can go super early. Can crushing weight something. Maybe make an obstacle if we need to. Actually we won't have fire. And we can hedge to it towards it. All right, I need to I need to try and get another bless here. So I need to kind of get close to the abyss on. But I'm gonna have to do like black boon first <laughs> to get it going. Kind of weird. I actually feel like it's maybe the right thing to do. Just to try and make this like super quick. I guess it would make sense to go here, here, here and use the favorite, maybe. people anyone else having some static noise from the stream that my friend <laughs> it's funny you should mention that i literally spoke to craig earlier it's this it's this it's like i i may i somebody else pointed it out to me uh phantom i think actually pointed it out and i didn't really think about it at the time but yes that is this and it's kind of annoying because if we don't set this off, this will be like it for the whole scenario. <laughs> um, so who should we attack first? Go you, because I could maybe pull you see. Yeah. range on this tree. I mean, I can pull this guy through this bomb here. So we'll go here first, I think. Pretty good. Right, listen for it, chat. Beautiful. <laughs> Playing a trap action actually a trap as a streamer. That's the real meta game. Juno, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Knock, knock. I 
Newt Newt. Hey, Pelican. It's an aggressive noise. Yeah, I felt like the trap. I mean, so I messaged uh, Craig about it, one of the devs, and he was like, yep. I don't know if they'll do anything about it, but it's obviously it's not a hugely pressing issue. It feels like a bit of a streamer problem, so, you know, it's not affecting the game. But it would be, it would be nice to maybe turn it down or maybe it stops after a period of time. I don't know. Guess now would be a fairly good time to play shield spikes, wouldn't it, huh? Just to try and get it up. Get ourselves in a position to do a nice loot. Kind of chill out. Like, I feel pretty good right now. Just need to... I mean, honestly, I just want to pick up this loot and long rest to get ready for the next room. I know exactly what I want to do on the next room. I want to, ex I want to explode right in there. I'm gonna need like my move four, I think. Maybe, maybe it's for move six. I'm gonna need move six. I do also want to make sure that I do this and get the bless. At least two. That'll be awesome. <laughs> hey, thank you for the bits, could you know? Appreciate it. Treasure for the quest, my friend. Thank you. Hey, nonsensical. Good evening. Right. We just want to get the favorite back, right? Yeah, really? That's what it's all about. favorite back and move away if we miss we miss if we don't we don't it doesn't really matter we don't want to open this door until we're really ready to go i think okay. Okay. we good we'll take that Definitely just want her hanging out there, though. Probably should have tried to get that curse off before I um, did the attack there, actually. Could have at least got a curse on the enemy there. Maybe slight, slight mistake there, maybe. So I think this heal is just going to be on me in the demo. No, it's got to be on uh, Hatchet. Hatchet and me, maybe? Hatchet and me. New hit film. This one's not about a dog. It's about an axe. Um. Hold up. Whoa. An anonymous gifter. Gifted 10 subs? Whoever that is. Is that like a username or is that actually a thing? <laughs> is, you, you, can you do it anonymously? That's crazy. Thank you so much. Make sure to thank them in the chat if you got a sub. Joffrey. Writer, Morty, Batman, Genghis no, Khan, no. Physics, Bondley, wow. Jankovic, Wid Styles, welcome all to the Adventuring Pie. Make sure to thank them in chat. That is very, very nice of them. Guards in chat. Guards and Pog Frogs in chat. I'll tell you what, we're not going to play with like Pog, Pog Frogs for ages. Pog Toads. <laughs> that is very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means so much. Awesome. Wow. Okay. I'm getting all distracted again. I need to make sure that we're ready to go for this next this next round. Whew. Um. I'm gonna go shield spike. So we got it. We're ready to go. You ready to pick up this tasty loot? We got a couple of turns where we can just kind of do nothing here, which is what 
I think we'll do. I could play Flame Shroud. Like, if we just really want to go for it. I mean... Ah, this is the kind of scenario to go for it, huh? Kill one or more elite monsters. I guess there's an elite in... So he spawns elite living bones. And there's an elite living corpse in room two. I think there's one in room three. I mean, hopefully we never get to room three. But if we get to room two, there's a, at least one elite in that room. And there's an elite... There's an elite bandit archer here. Maybe two regulars with him. I don't play this with four very regularly, so... I'm not entirely sure how many enemies there'll be in the next room. We need to keep the strength done. The strength is what we do for that, that big, one big turn sort of thing. So really we're just wasting we're just wasting cards here, huh? Just to try and kind of bait everything out. That's fine. We know what we're doing here. Lots of lovely loot. Go for it. Room one has an elite and room two, and you think the arches are also elite. Oh, I don't like we're not really doing anything here. We're literally just buying time so that we can long rest at a decent time when we've got everything picked up, which we could probably do now, to be honest. Probably all long rest now. There's not real many benefits for me to have an extra turn here. As long as I got something good to get rid of. I guess I could have had a nice play of Master Influence here. That could have been good, right? Huh? Kind of missed that opportunity. That would have been good. We have got the two blesses here, though, which is what, what we really wanted to do. Hey, Pashu. No experience with Jaws of the Lion, so this should be fun. Yeah, Jaws of the Lion is... I love... I All of the mercenaries, I think, are great. Maybe we do just long rest with everybody here. Makes sense. Everyone kind of gets some health back. Hmm. See, this is extra movement, right? But I feel like the, the correct play here would be to... Open the door with signs of the void. Then use explode on 28. No, we, we open the door with explosive blitz. No, oh, we can't do it, right? No, we need so much movement. That would be five. So this room, there's obstacle here. Two hex obstacle. There's two hex obstacle here. There's also an obstacle here, I believe. Two hex obstacle here. Boss is behind it, flanked by archers. So we need to get to this point here. So like one, two, three, four, five. So we need to move five to get to the obstacle, I think. Um, which means we got three, I guess plus two would do it. So three plus two would do it. Get to the void. Let's get rid of Black Boon. Because we're going to use Signs of the Void anyway, right? Although, saying that, it is so good at just positioning the Red Guard. No, maybe not. But everything else is so good here. Apart from maybe this. No, we'll get rid of it. I think we can deal with it. I think we can deal with it. Okay. 
maybe now we get rid of blade. Well, we probably shouldn't get rid of blade does because we're actually playing the flame shroud strat. So we should probably keep that in. Maybe get rid of blinding sickle, although it is extra damage and a good loot. <coughs> On a relatively late initiative. Newt, newt. Hey, self home. Um, I can do with that. Do with that's good. Ah, uh, having said, this is really good against. Uh, that's really good against living corpses. Let's not worry about that. It's so good against corpses that I just don't even want to... I don't even want to think about it. Just get rid of Barrage because it's not going to do anything anymore. Too many shields on the skeletons when they pop up. Which undoubtedly they will. So we need to move three. So we're going to be playing this with this. So we need to keep that. Rubble is a really nice one in this one, too, because you actually have two other obstacles to use with rubble. So I'm going to kind of keep that. Love Charge might be the one that's worth getting rid of, but it could be an attack four on the boss, which is not bad either. Piston Punch, fairly weak here, I suppose. Is a stun, though. Explosive Blitz is pretty weak, but it is an early initiative. Although we've got 20 here, so we'll have 20, 22. Help us do a bit of range, though. Uh, let's give it a bit. Maybe a little bit of a mistake. We're, we're definitely going all in here. Crimson Scale characters today? No, because Jaws of the Lion came out yesterday, the expansion. So we're playing the expansion for a little while. Okay. Now, thank you so much for the follow. Mojin, welcome to the quest. Hope you're doing well. Right. So this turn is very specific how this has to work out. So Signs of the Void kind of has to go pretty early. I also need to do a really decent move myself here. So I'll do a, a decent move too. We know we're going explode. And we're going implode. Nice. And we're just needing to get to a position to set this up. So it's just a big move. And potentially... top to play here that we don't really care about. I guess care package might get a heal on something. Could be relevant. We go fairly late. Happy Jaws Day 2. Newt Newt. Hey Blackbeard. Happy Day 2 to you too buddy of Jaws. Thanks so much for the resub for five months buddy. Welcome back. The quest continues, my friend. Good to have you here. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Yeah, I think we just go super late. Well, I say super late. We go... We go like 30. Um, with the red guard, I guess I could hedge the difference here. Where if I go... If I go relatively early, I could open the door myself here, right? Too bad. And then I could just shield up. I could just run in on 13, shield up. Although that might be... I guess it kind of moots the point. We have to just hope the 28 is good enough, I think. Because I, I need a decent move here. I feel like a move 3 with some boots could be quite good. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure. Let's just try it like this. It's kind of weird. E, please. You open the door. Thirty-two. Nice. Knock, knock. Worked out. New, new. Worked out perfectly. He moving to the next door he's not he is gonna he's gonna attack so actually this is a really good spot for the hatchet i think or well, this is a good spot for the hatchet too go hide here Are right, you ready for some explosions, chat? Ready? <laughs> Do we in this here, or do we just take an attack of four? I mean, it's only an attack of four, but he will only go here. <laughs> a lot of damage. I think that's okay. Now if we go to here. Don't want to use this yet. Would have been nice to have drawn a Drawn a, uh, a curse there, maybe? <laughs> Do I plan on making guides on YouTube for the Jaws of Lion characters? On my Patreon right now, there's a Demolitionist and the Hatchet Guide. And once I've done a little bit more playtime with the Red Guard and the Void Warden, I'll be doing those too. The, the Demolish, Demolitionist and the Hatchet are the two characters that I know the best out of this bunch. Void Warden is quite intricate, so I feel like I need a fair bit more playtime with her. And the Red Guard is pretty similar. Red Guard's a little bit easier, but still, I feel like I need to play some more. Um, can we get there? No. I mean, it's still worth using the boots, I think, yeah. Just to get, get in there. Just in case we want to move back or something. Right, here we go. So we're going... Strengthen. Power pitch. Double throw. 60 initiative. Double the value. Make sure we're strengthened. So we need to go before 60 or 64. So that's that. Do I actually have anything decent I can do otherwise? No. <laughs> Like, I'm basically just all in on this strat, huh? Maybe that was some bad positioning by me. I should have got Signs of the Void back. That would have been a really good turn then. Just get the Red Guard in there. Now we're kind of in an awkward position, huh? Got light up. Big MP's audio is still too low, is it? Cuts in and out a bit. My microphone. Hang on a minute, chat. I got you. Okay. I'll just turn my um I'll turn my noise gate down a little bit. Hopefully that'll help. So it'll 
pick up my voice when it's a little bit lower. I'm going soft, loud, soft, loud. Soft, loud, soft, loud. Did just update my go, uh, my go axle. Uh, soft, loud, soft, loud. It would sound like the equalizers, the uh, the compressors are playing, playing up. How about my voice? That sound good? Put it out. I mean, your thoughts? I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a load of dials down here. I don't know where any of these do. I have no idea. What is this? Hang on. What does this one do? Uh, hello? Hello? Um, hello? Hello? Not doing anything? How's that working? Does that sound better? How about, how about this? How about this? Hello? Hello? Oi! I don't know what I'm doing. There? Good, right. Um, oh. I like this. I like. This is something I recognize. I recognize this. Yes. Question is, how do I get there? Hmm. Well, that doesn't look too good. Uh, right, he's doing something here, right? That, I think. Right, no clue. Summon living bones elite. Oh. I sound lovely, just like a gargled glass of nail. Good. My mum always told me I had a great voice. Stay here, thanks. Right. There you go. Oh, I got the pull and everything. I guess I should have pulled him, right? For the damage. I forgot. I wasn't the one who played it. I don't know about it. Can I do the big attack? I want to do the big attack. Yeah, take that. Do that again. When does the avatar go away? What's an avatar? What are you talking about? Oh, 
Here we go. Now we're talking. Right. Straight done. Oh, do this right. Oi! That is not gonna happen. Right, attack 18. Here comes the bless. Here it comes. Okay, we didn't get it. That's not my fault. <laughs> no, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Right, that's it. I've done the fun bit. Now I can go away. Right, you can have it back. He's always trying to take the glory off me, chat. Always. Always trying to take the glory off me. No double curse, though. That's true. That was kind of a welcome... <laughs> a welcome thing there. For sure. Um, we're in a bit of a weird spot with our red guard right now, aren't we? We're kind of just in a weird, a weird place. I don't know what to do about it, really. I guess I'd like to put a, char a lobbed charge behind one of these guys. Seems like a good idea. Yeah, it could fall back, destroy this, get strengthened, do a lob charge. That seems quite good. I think we want to go for a big follow through here. We know we want to do this. I think I need to get in there too, right? And then we do a big... I say a big. We do a decent attack here, maybe. Um, I think we just have to short rest. I don't feel very good about what I have on this character right now. That's okay. Gonna open the door. He's gonna open the door. If I can help it. Come on. Just gotta get that bless now. Right, he's down to half health, but that's not particularly quick. That is not particularly quick. Probably best I just get in the mix. Only the hatchet can make 18 damage and you goes, ah, decent. <laughs> yeah. Like, ah, could have been better. <laughs> it's true. I've seen better. Damage there and a bit of loot too. We're getting rich. 
Is this the first attempt at this mission? Yes. Yes, it is. We are going to get hit for a bunch here, though. I guess it's okay. Have to be okay. Did that just turn crush... I might just that turn crushing weight on though next turn. Kind of interesting. If I chuck this here, he will teleport onto it, right? Pretty sure. Maybe not. We'll see if he lands on it. Yeah. You got the new Nintendo Switch Sports last night. Oh, awesome. My uh, my girlfriend got um, Ring Fit the other day. She wanted to give it a go. I'm kind of tempted to like steal it off her. <laughs> go on. Oh, he jumps onto the door. Boo. I mean... It's a good place to put a bomb, though. Maybe I should have put it there. I don't know. Just pull him? Yeah, that's a good point. We got a lot of pull. We can. This is fine. Or we push. Man, I am so low on health right now. This does not look good for me. Um, it's not looking great for me right now. I kind of need to get retrieval off as well to try and get it back off of him. Oh, God. Um, big heels. Big heels. Come on. We haven't got any big heals. That's maybe a problem. Might have to do a little bit of invis shenanigans here, chat. Or I could force an enemy within attack three. Perform that. Oh, I could do that, right? That seems quite good. Yeah, I could get this guy to attack him. That seems quite like a good idea. I know we haven't got Master's Influence up, but that seems like a really good idea. That for the push. So that for a move, maybe. Ugh. Living Bones Elites are not fun. What are these guys doing? Move two. Simple safe. Healing Sands is great. Yeah, I at the moment I am feeling like I could do with them. There you go, static gone. I guess I could try and... Oh, I can't even cover him. I was going to say, maybe you can like cover the spot, but I didn't do that. Do you want to put a, should we put an obstacle in front of this door or here? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm probably just going to walk by it. I guess in that case, I should probably have it there. Very good. At least the arches are dead. The arches are just a pain in the ass, right? Such a pain in the ass. Um. Okay. Really, what I wanted here. I really wanted to try and get this back with this. I want to try and move in. That summon was really annoying because I could have got to there, right? Um, 
I guess I could go for re mm, I'll have to short rest next turn anyway. That's okay. I guess we just focus on this guy a little bit more. Mm, do I move and loot? Do I get close? I probably don't. Just stay here for now. We got some good control though. You hope they add demo specific obstacle graphics? I guess it would be kind of cool, but I, I doubt it at this point in time, to be honest with you. Now, the problem with this now is that attacking him doesn't, it will be a disadvantage, right? Seems like a good way to whiff now. Another fairly strong play would just be to go here and go invisible. Because that will just block up a nice amount and give me a little bit more control over the movement. Also means I can go kind of late and I don't really need to worry. I could also potentially short rest and go super late and try and do something like resign frenzy. Because resign frenzy on him right now, it's target three, right? So if I can get these into a good position for a design frenzy, ooh, baby. Then we're cooking, right? Triple target. Also a really good spot for the big one now as well, huh? Where are you? Where are you when I need you? One, two. I could get... Could get here. I wouldn't get range. Get strengthen. I guess we're not always going to be able to have strengthen, so. Try and go for the big one. We're going to be short resting on pretty much everybody here, I think. I feel like the value that we're getting at the moment from all of this is just insane, right? I mean, look at how many attacks we would get on the boss. We'd get like four attacks on the boss. We have to go for it. That's fine. This is actually broken right now. And if I do it before everybody gets to move... can I? Is he immune to poison? He's not even immune to poison. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, boy. A little bit yeah. spicy. That's fine. I guess we just go for it right now. Um, we have more than that. I think I need that, right? For the move three. I would have explode. Damn. This, to me, seems incredibly all in, but I love it. I actually love it. We might die. <laughs> That's a real concern right now. And what's a good play here? Blinding Sickle. Shocking advance. We need to move two of some sort. So it'll be swift strength. We at least get a shield one. Then this to get a shield two. And this to get a shield three. Then perhaps we play care package. Instead of follow through. No, because we're going on 12 anyway. All right, let's just hope they're all dead. 
Oh, that's a really good draw. That's a really good draw. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> we can do 12 damage, right? No master influence, though. I know. We did have maybe an opportunity to do it. We just didn't take it. These guys are moving three. I guess in theory he could get to me. Kind of blows a little bit. Feel armor this turn. Bandit Commander can't summon. Perfect. I actually got incredibly lucky there. See how lucky I got there. That was insane. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have done that because innate attacks apply, apply poison, right? So, I guess I just start this way. This guy can attack this or this. This guy can attack this or this. This guy can attack this or this. So, I guess it kind of makes sense to get to go first here. All right, we need the boss. We need the boss dead. So, we'll go for the boss. Okay. Next, well, I guess we get the boss to attack. This elite here, maybe. We get this to attack the boss. Donk. Skellies have multi-target. Oh, God, I did it again, huh? I Okay, I've only missed one attack. I've only missed one attack, right? It's so broken with living bones, man. No wonder there's no living bones in Jaws of the Lion. <laughs> nope. I could hit three. Oh. We don't talk about it. Restart? No, it's fine. It's fine, right? It's fine. We, we achieved what we wanted to achieve, chat. Killed by your own men. Yeah, it's actually nuts regardless of what we, what we did there or didn't do there. Could have been better. Would have been nice to have been strengthened. That shield spikes. Right now, this is so straightforward, right? This is just so easy now at this point in time. Man. Pretty good. Pretty good, it turns out, huh? I'm 
I'm not going to get that axe back, though. That's for sure. The axe is gone. Void Warden OP. Now I can't lose after saying that. I'm sure. Just in case. I don't think we need it, though. <laughs> what are these guys doing? Move to... this up. Yeah. Damage there. Um, right. Attack him. Okay, then we're going to go this. We're going to stun. I wouldn't. Did I get the multi attacks off that, right? No. Would I? Actually, would I have got it off of that? Did I just n screw that up again as well? Probably. It didn't show up? Okay, cool. Thought of your struggle while my group did oozing grove with triangles, angry face, and mind thief. That was a struggle. I'm glad we finally did it though. I still mean to upload onto YouTube the uh, the kind of the final one where we actually did it. So this should be multi-target, right? Yeah. may not count because it specifies targeting the enemy. That's true. Quite possibly. Thank you so much for the resub rents. Really appreciate it, buddy. Five months. The quest continues, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day. Oh, easy. What even is that? What are our battle goals? Gain 13 more experience. We're, we're getting there. We've done this one. 
They gave me short rests. Uh oh. I guess I kind of screwed that straight away, didn't I? Got the hunter, though. Can we get 13 or more XP out of this? I guess it's possible, right? But that's kind of hard. I mean, how would you even do that? Not in the amount of time that we have left. That's not possible. I refuse to believe it. I mean, I guess we can get the attack off here. Hmm. That's an XP, at least. Void Warden looks so incredibly powerful. She's... I think it also because of these enemy types, right? You don't get the multi-target in Jaws of the Lions. So you can't abuse it in quite the same way. That's quite a big part of it. That would have been a good way to get some XP. <laughs> We're not going to get much XP from the hatchet otherwise. All right. I think we should be okay. We should realistically be fine now. We really should. I think I want to try and die with the red guard, really. Get a little bit of loot here. Oh, no. Well, that sucks. That does kind of suck. Can we dodge the attack? Oh. We'll die, though, to the shield spikes. Oh, beautiful. Get a little bit more XP. Uh, probably gonna level up with maybe Void Warden after this. And this will get me one, but I could run over there, then I could maybe destroy an obstacle on the next turn, sort of thing. Gives me one, or I could use rubble to jump onto it. I don't know. Doesn't feel like there's many ways for me to get XP. This will give me one, I suppose. We'll try and rinse a little bit of experience points here, chat. Just a little bit. Not too much. 
Just a little bit to, uh, to help out. Two of our characters sort of fell behind a little bit. Um, heal. Oh, Wicked Scratch is pretty good too. What am I doing with him? I just think I'm just attacking, right? Yeah. I could play the top of Fancy How, I suppose, but... Probably not worth it really at this point in time. Let's just get let's just go next. Did they introduce the rules of using items right after losing them? No. Very good. And a nice pile of loot there for the Void Warden too. Ended up getting a decent amount of gold. Nice. Very nice chat. Easy. We got quite lucky with the flip. We had that one round where they all just kind of went early and didn't do anything. So we had that amazing turn where we could just get everyone to attack each other. You can't help but rifle through one content, but that can. So I I always feel like we were very heavily favored to win that scenario anyway. Like our team is just really good at a scenario like this really good now we're on to the real stuff though right <laughs> now we're on to the real stuff is this game easy should i not bother with it absolutely <laughs> you can grant attacks even if there are no enemies for the xp oh uh, yeah i guess kind of like um Kind of like how uh, two minis work, then, yeah? Again at the similar kind of, similar kind of deal. Papers, she... Yes, Jack Sarah, we will never talk to you ever again. So, do we unlock? We unlock some items there, right? Or something? I think. Do they give us weathered boots? No. I don't think they did. Just prosperity. Okay, they didn't give us anything new. That's good. We do have some level ups to do, right? Oh, hang on. We leveled up on everybody? Sweet. Okay. Nice. All right, level two then. Hookerific. Let's go. So we got Harvest Sickle. Attack four, range two, create earth and light. That's a pretty, that's a pretty good attack. Move five, loot each hex you enter with this movement. Scoundrels? Scoundrel players? Barbaric in instincts, shield one, pool one, range two. All adjacent enemies suffer one damage. That seems pretty good. Move two, attack one, wound. That's good. Okay. 12 initiative as well. Ooh. It's kind of an interesting one. Like, Harvest Sickle is a really good attack just as a standalone. But it's hard to not want to go just all in on shield spikes, right? Another good shield spikes card that could potentially pull an enemy into a... Um, Something like a, a bomb, like Glob Charge. Could also, you know, do that extra one damage as well. It's, it's not nothing, you know. Getting to do a, some damage through a shield is quite nice, right? Um, And potentially the move to attack one wound on the bomb is not bad either. It really isn't. Range two is awkward. I would say it's a little bit awkward, but it's not. 
you know, hugely. These two cards are kind of, um, they're kind of interesting because this is, I would say in terms of attack, this is probably like as, you know, it, it's pretty balanced. Like it's a strong attack. Um, it's, it's a pretty balanced top. Creating two elements can be really nice. I haven't seen us use Earth yet, um, I'm, but it has some good play with Ruby. So, you know, we're not going to say no to some Earth. Light is something we use a lot of. The 52 initiative is terrible though. So it's an unplayable initiative which means that we would have to pair it with something, right? And the bottom is move five loop, which basically says nothing, right? It's just, we, we would pretty much disregard the bottom of this card for the entirety of the scenario until there's a really good opportunity to use it. Unless, of course, you're trying to farm gold in some way, but you're pretty much not going to use it. Uh, you're going to be using it for the top. And then this is the kind of card that might end up just getting burned through short rests or long rests, and you wouldn't be too bothered about it. Barbaric Instincts, though... Seems to have a little bit more synergy with our with our um with what we're doing, right? It's got the shield thing going on. It's doing one damage anyway. So this is attack four. You know, this is still it's it's better than attack one because it goes through shield. So there's there's that element to it. Or at least it is low level, right? Then you could make arguments when you have strengthen and drawing attack modifiers, maybe you can do more, but in theory this could could be better in certain situations. And the bottom is pretty usable as well, just in a pinch, right? 12 initiative. Yeah, and the 12 initiative is actually a playable initiative. That's the other thing. You, you, the, this is unplayable in every way. This is actually something that you could lead on a 12 initiative and be happy about it, for sure. Another pull for Flame Shroud. That's true. Works very well with Flame Shroud pull. I think, I think I've got to go for bar Barbaric Instincts here. It's just a better overall card for the strategy. Like, this is just fine like it's really unexciting whereas this is like oh this clearly combos with what we already have and potentially could combo with things we get in the future so whereas this is just value this is just hey good card good initiative a good mix of abilities probably going to combo off with a bunch of stuff like i think it's a pretty it's a i think that's a very clear choice in my opinion between the two unless of course you're trying to i guess fuel earth lows for some reason. I think it's I think it's the best one. Um now swapping it out. That's gonna be an interesting one, huh? I really like this. Obviously, Flame Shroud's a bit of a combo with this. Twirling stabs is one I have not played really, apart from the attack to wound on the bomb, right? And this basically replaces it on a better initiative. I've just not... I have, In the three scenarios that I've played, I've played Twirling Stabs zero times as an attack to target all adjacent enemies and a couple of times as an attack to with Wound. And on one of those, I lost because I felt like it was actually a bad move. Twirling Stab and Blade Dance are my, are my weakest. Blade Dance. Blade Dance is the other pool one, right? I actually quite like the utility on this, though. I felt like being able to pull two things is a bit more forgiving at times. Plus, it's like two attacks, right? It's an attack two and attack two. And there's a move in there as well. Like, so you could, if you wanted to do a really big move, you could just treat this as a move two top. Play it with like a, a big move bomb and you're you're gone, right? I think Twirling Stabs is probably the one to get rid of. Because the bomb completely replaces it too. It does exactly the same thing. Pretty much. It's slightly worse, but... Well, you say slightly worse. You don't have to consume the fire, so maybe better. Right. Kind of interesting. Need elements for the blade dance, though. Yeah, but I think you can get it. I think we can get it. I want to keep trying it. Flaming and blinding sickle are better pull tops. Isn't twirling stupid with war with stun hammer? Yes, that's true. It would be very good. That's a fair consideration. But if we're going to go for armor items, which is I think I kind of... That's the way I'm leaning with this character. That might be the better way to go. I don't know. Let's try that for now. But we've always got a few options we can come back to. I think that's a pretty reasonable swap there, though. Also, we got rid of a card, which has a pretty, pretty meh initiative as well. Right. 
Let's go consistency. Those minus twos out of the way. Right, cheaper stuff. Minus one, sorry. Don't forget healing sands. Uh, we've survived. <laughs> Give and take. Poison, target self or one ally within range two. Bless and strengthen, target a different ally within range three. Well, that seems not a very nice thing to do to your friend. Poison them <laughs> or yourself. Then bless and strengthen somebody else. I mean, it's it would make some of our combos a bit easier. 21 initiative as well. This is definitely a character where I just feel like I need earlier initiatives. So maybe that's a consideration here. The bottom is move four, jump, curse, target all enemies, move through. I guess with a pair of boots, you could get five, six curses in a pinch, which is pretty good, right? I mean, we're getting to some good, some good curse value. So this feels like a... I mean, it doesn't feel great, but also the 21 initiative and what it does could be quite good here. Just poison yourself. Yeah, true. Um, the next card is Crushing Cold. One ally within range three may perform attack four, target two with ice. Uh, get Muddle. Consume ice for Muddle. And it's a burn. So I guess this would technically, with Master Influence, be like an attack five. On the first attack. Nine damage, potentially, with Muddle. Not bad, but it, it, is a, it is a burn. Pretty rough. The bottom is move three, Muddle, range three, create ice. And that is pretty good, though. I feel like we've got other easy ways of making ice, right? Am I wrong? I guess we've been playing the bottom of this a lot. Generally, move three, make an element. It's pretty playable at times. Attack four and push if you're trying to separate. Oh, you guys are still talking about the red guard. Damn it. <laughs> Crushing Cold just worse than the burns I already have. Yeah, I mean, I am feeling that way. Like, the only reason that I think you would want to take this card is for a consistent move three, create ice. That's my feeling right now. And we've got some good use of ice. I'll tell you what one card I want to get rid of. I almost want to get rid of Freeze the Soul. It's really been annoying me, actually. I think it has to be give and take as well. Because the initiative, I think that's a big deal breaker. I'd happily use this as a move two with this character if I needed to. Okay. Card to get rid of. Card to get rid of. What's been so-so with this character so far? I haven't really been doing Wicked Scratch to its full potential. I think Close to the Abyss has been pretty good. Gift of the Void has been pretty good the few times I've got it going. That particular scenario didn't really play very well. Black Boon is probably... Hmm. Probably not great, but now we've got this. We can poison an, an ally anyway if we wanted to try and get a Bless like on the Hatchet. Now, the lights is pretty good. Throw the void is good. Most influence is good. Suggestion is good. Design frenzy is good. Mm, I feel like it's Black Boon. It's, honestly, it's that or it's Freeze the Soul. And I don't think I can get rid of a card that says stun on it, chat. Black Boon is a great free move for demo or red guard. That's, that's true. Probably Scratch. Scratch is a nice strength and, and it does a, a decent attack with Master Influence. Like, I'm trying to... I think I want to try and incorporate Master Influence a bit more. So, like we haven't done that yet. And obviously, the, the time we did do that, we did pretty well in Black Barrow. Like, it worked out quite nicely. So, kind of want to play with it a little bit more. And something like Wicked Scratch will encourage me to do that more. Let's 
I need the heals if I'm going with none on red guard. That's fair. Freeze the soul, to me, to be honest, has been the most annoying card. Like, I just find it doesn't do anything a lot of the time. Let's try without that. I know it's weird giving up a stun, but it's a stun where I have to be in the right place to begin with. I then also kind of have to combo it off with something else. I mean, I guess it does have a nice combo with give and take, potentially. Maybe Gift of the Void isn't very good. Maybe Gift of the Void isn't very good. I mean, it is just an attack three. And we have to take two damage for doing it. Like, it's not a great trade. It does play well with Master Influence, though. Damn it. There's so many cards with this character that are just decent. Design Frenzy always playable? I mean, you would think so, especially if you're going to use invisibility to help clump enemies, which we can do. I don't know. Maybe Lure the Void then. Maybe we get rid of Lure the Void instead. Okay, let's try that. We'll get rid of the Disarm instead of the Stun. This plays a little bit nicer. I do like the move that we can do here, but let's just let's just try that. I'm, I'm not convinced that's right at all. Uh, consistency. It's going to be a lot of consistency here, chat. A lot of consistency. Uh, repeat shot or ricochet. Both of these two cards are amazing. So repeat shot. Attack three, range three, add plus two attack. Game one, if your target has your favorite. So just another, uh, kind of like a, another copy of follow through, really. Um slightly better copy of, of follow through uh, attack five range three on the bomb is a burn i guess just to get some xp at the end of the scenario or kill something you really need to die quickly not a bad not a bad thing to do also could be a good way of you playing the favorite on the very first turn you could in theory play the favorite and then go straight into repeat shot bomb probably don't probably not a great idea but on certain scenarios maybe if it was a really quick one uh ricochet um, I think Ricochet, this is attack 2, range 3. Then we do an attack 2 targeting a different enemy within range 2. It's really good with Fancy Hat because it gives us an extra bonus to both of those two attacks. So then we get like an attack 3 and then an attack 3. We can use the favor on one of them maybe as well. This is just a really good kind of enabler, I think. So I, I like Ricochet here. And, and it would be probably between dropping something like Disorienting Barrage because Ricochet is just strictly kind of better. And with Fancy Hat, we'd probably want to use it with Ricochet rather than Disorienting Barrage. I've also, like, sometimes we'll swap out something like Second Wind because it's just a move three and it doesn't really do anything else. But it is kind of a nice initiative. So I feel like for now, maybe this is a good idea to just get rid of Disorienting Barrage. Repeat shot for you. I I fully believe that at level three, <laughs> we're going to be coming back and taking the other level two. No, don't worry about that. Um, consistency. Very good. Ruby. Now, level two on this character. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Attack two. It's done. Move four. This movement isn't affected by difficult terrain. Or a card with words on it. <laughs> hmm. Um. No, I actually, I feel like this is actually kind of a fun card. But you have a nine card character and you have something like Crash Protocol. It's very all in. Very, very all in. Uh, the bottom, move three, jump. Each time you enter a hex, getting an obstacle with this movement. Destroy the obstacle and add plus one move. All enemies move through, suffer one damage. It's not bad. But I feel like we can kind of destroy obstacles in better ways. And also... Sometimes you don't want to just destroy every obstacle in a scenario because then all of the enemies can suddenly get to you. You, know, you can use obstacles smartly to help CC enemies. So uh, Crash Protocol is one of those kind of cards where, ah, it sounds really cool, but I, I just don't think it in practice does anything. Like, 
don't think it really does much. Uh, so Robotic Enhancement, I think, is the is a pretty clear pick. 33 initiative as well is fairly early for this character, actually, in a weird way. So, you know. hey. Love the jump. Yeah, the jump's pretty good. We have got jump boots, though. The mind's weakness laughs at this. <laughs> hey, be nice. Um, okay, in terms of what we should get rid of here. Tough one. I would probably say implode. Although it is a nice late initiative. Probably implode potentially lob charge now we have got a lot of nice pull though kind of a nice card to do when we're not doing anything i think i might swap this out though also because it's everyone thinks that i've got static on my microphone when i play with it <laughs> for now <laughs> <laughs> You like the demo's color scheme? The orange-purple mix looks nice. Yeah. Jeez, he's pretty cool looking. So gold-wise, we got a bunch of gold already. This is kind of the problem sometimes with playing with this difficulty. Is that, oh, you end up getting uh, a lot of gold quite quickly. So I think it makes sense to just go and uh, grab up a heat shield. Or actually, to be honest, we've got a small item. Get that, let's get that potion with it. 34 gold, so we can get a head item. We can get a hand item, maybe. Throwing hammer seems like a fairly good pick for her. Right now. What have we got for boots? Wing shoes. I guess we've got a couple of things. I guess that could have come in, come in handy. I feel like we've only got like a move three and a move four. We're kind of a struggling a little bit. I would honestly would like to get weathered shoes with this character. Just to get something with a plus one instead. I don't feel like we need jump. But we do have a couple of really good positional spells where we need to be near enemies, right? Within range. So. The lady needs shoes, yeah. But is it wing shoes or is it... I guess we could always sell these back for 10 gold if we really... If we do get... Um, for the boots at some point. That seems good to me. Head slot item we don't need to worry about right now. 32. Um, I guess it makes sense to go for either a body item here, like leather armor, or go a little bit hard on eagle eye goggles. Now we do have the um, ricochet. It's probably a good time to just go for, for goggles. Because we're actually going to get a benefit for like a two target attack with goggles. It's going to be pretty good. So I feel like goggles is. Really good. Hang on. Wait. Where's the hammer? Wait. No one's got a hammer. What? With all that hammer. He's doing this all wrong. He's got to be doing it all wrong. All wrong. I mean, there's only one item you need, right? Baby hammer or... Single attack? What's one of those? Don't think I've ever seen a single attack before. Don't you just attack everything all the time? Doesn't that make it easier? Hmm. Don't know about that. Right, what about you? Ruby. What can you use? You've got 18 gold. Can you get it? No. Not enough gold. Hmm. Oh, I'll tell you what you need. Yeah. There you go. There you go. It might weigh you down a little bit, though. That's a good, that's a good favourite. That'll keep you safe. 
that's what they call a that what ranged ranged I'm not sure not really sure what that is believe it or not I have one well I've never used it I like the demolitionist I mean she seems quite cool she's got cool names of cards that remind me of some of my own Explode, implode, the big one. These all sound like toilet names too. Rubble, crushing weight. Maybe we were made for each other. Range is throwing rocks instead of punching stuff. Why not both? Hang on. Oh, she's got perks. Yeah, go on. Lovely. Okay, right. Ooh, we got a new one. I've done my bit. Right, he can take over now. Right, here you go. He raises a good point, chat. I mean... A lot of these do sound. Kind of a little bit like. Going to the bathroom. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like that. Okay, so future MQ jumping in here. This roadside ambush mission was hell on earth for me. One of the hardest scenarios I've ever had to play. And this was in the kind of pre-nerfed version. So you could see why it really needed to be nerfed. It almost felt kind of impossible at times to complete. I was really scratching my head. And in fact, I think in total it was about four or five failures some of them kind of we played quite a, a bit of the scenario and then we failed kind of like in the last room other times i just restarted in the first room because we had some bad rng and i just felt like Do you know what this isn't going to develop into like a winning run so let's just cut our losses so for the sake of brevity and not for uploading four different times that i failed this mission i'm actually just going to show you the time that we succeeded but please bear in mind that this is a big deal for me that we completed this on the pre nerf version. So we're going to be mentioning a lot of times here where we actually failed it. Uh, so yeah, that's why it might not always match up with what you're thinking and why we have a little bit more XP or maybe a level or so on the characters. But I really didn't want to just sit here and, and you guys see me fail and fail and fail and fail this particular mission when really this is just like the first mission of the whole Jaws of the Lion campaign. We've got many more to come. So this will be the last time that I do this, but it was just because of the number of failures and the fact that it's now been nerfed substantially. So it's not going to cause as much of a problem hopefully for people in the future anyway but yeah so that's why i've kind of trimmed this one down and now after this from next video onwards we will be back into the natural flow but hopefully that's not too much of an issue right feeling good about this chat we've got a good plan we know what we're doing this is the time oh votes all right poll time new poll which option are we going with chat Option one or option two. You're walking through the coin district when a woman in green with thick goggles springs from a nearby window and bow bowls you over. Coins and expensive trinkets scatter as they spill from the robber's pockets. She brushes herself off, then notices two guards peering down the alley, their attention drawn by the commotion. Ha 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 ha. That was a good one. She laughs dramatically and claps you on the back making a show of it for the guards. She winces as someone shrieks, thief, from the window. The guard breaks into a run towards you and the woman mutters, follow my lead. We'll all get out of this. Otherwise, we're all getting sent to the ghost fortress. Got it? Do we option one, turn her over to the guards or option two, let the thief work her charms? Ooh. If you've only played the game for 15 hours, is it worth adding the DLC now? Um, I 
tough question. I think if you really like the characters, like if, if something, if the characters resonate with you, sure. But the characters do also feel like unlockable characters in many ways. So it's not like it would be a huge detriment to you. In terms of story, uh, Jaws of the Lion's story is technically set way before Gloomhaven. So like you don't like there'll be no clashes in terms of like story wise content or anything like that. We going option two chat. Let the thief work her charms. <gasps> Ten gold. They went that way. The green clad woman swoons against the building as the guards approach, pointing farther off into the dark alley. Please, you have to do something. I think they killed someone. The guards look at each other and charge into the shadows. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? The burglar quips as she bends down to grab a fallen valuable. Here, for your trouble. Now, you'd better clear out before they return. Should we just abandon and go and get the Warhammer chat? <laughs> Abandon? Warhammer? I mean, seems like it might be the play. Um, Not long after you getting we'll hammer stabs. We could we could go get it. I'm tempted to. But then we have to resolve another event and it's a little bit cheesy. Let's let's give it a go. i I'm feeling better about it today. I really am. Cause a trap to be sprung or disarmed. Yeah, we can do that easy. Uh use your equipped items a number of times equal to or greater than your level. How many items do we have? One, two, three. This is technically reusable. So what was it? You should going to remember it is equal to or greater than your level plus two. So we have to use them four times. So that's two uses of the jump boots. That's pretty easy. Yeah. So we just have to use the jump, jump boots twice. That's fine. We can do that. Insomniac, suffer damage from an attack the same round you long rest. Uh, less likely. Zealot, yeah, this, this is easy. Assistant, kill a monster attacked by any of your allies earlier in the same round. It's pretty easy. Have five or more total cards in your hand. That won't happen. So we'll go assistant. Right. Here we go. Should we, do, should we open the casino? Let's open the book. I'm only going to give you two minutes on this one, though, chat, because we're starting. Will I win? The casino is open, right? So we know we want to go super late, I think. I just shield spikes, right? I think I also would really like to just do Gift of the Void. And not move this turn. And get a nice early get a nice early favorite going. And we just like we just we just batter this guy immediately in the first turn. It's kind of like what I want to do. Hope, hope that we kill him super early. Hope that we kill him super early. That's Batty. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the quest. Hope you're doing well. Who would have thought the first scenario would be so hard for me? I need the blue text box cards back. Oh, yikes. It's true. I don't even know what these cards do. Too much text on them. I need some explanation here. Come on. What's going on?
Again before. If I do this fairly early, I should be able to kind of kill him, right? All right, they're not doing anything, which is super good. What are these guys doing? These are doing this annoying move. So we're going to get hit by them, which kind of sucks. But it's fine. Might end up having to just kind of go in for it on him a little bit. Yeah, maybe I maybe I just go invisible on the next turn, right? I'm gonna get a little attack. I'm gonna be attack forward on two characters here. Seems kind of bad, but the invisibility is also just such a good tool. Maybe I should just tank it. It's only a, it's only four damage, right? He'll have to go to there to get me as well. Oh no, he can go there. Guess I could fly over here, then he'd have to go one, two, three. Go invisible. Early invisibility on the demo is an interesting dilemma because if we go early with it, that means we kind of leave ourselves open to the, you know, we can't really do anything in this room. Like, it really hampers her ability to play this room without that invisibility, I feel. But otherwise, we're going to be taking two big hits here from two things, which is basically death. So I, I guess we just have to. But it's okay, because we have a super late initiative on 33 now, so... Sorry, 33? 88? Even? A super late initiative on 88. So, next turn, we can be really safe here. Just buy another cloak. If only it was that easy. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine if you could do that. Can I not use the favorite? Why can't I use the favorite? Oh, because it's with you controlling the actions? What's that about? To any of your ranged attacks? Chat, I am confused. Am I just... Is this, is this right? Devs? Or not. Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe this is right. I don't know. This feels like it could be done correctly. So maybe I'm just wrong with this because it's you controlling the action. But then I get my items. So that doesn't make any sense. But then the favorite says you may add to any of your range. It's like an ability that I have. What? Well, it's not letting me do it. So I'm kind of disappointed. Regardless. But it feels... I'm, I don't know if it's correct or not. <laughs> Devs. Been reported before, I haven't heard what we decided on it. Mm. But guessing it's a Void Warden attack, even though Favorite is performing it. Yeah, but the thing is, is that it's... 
I shouldn't get the items then? I don't know. It's I I I could see it going either way. I would need I would want an official ruling on it. Like I I personally if nice draw. This is the one, chat. It's fate. It's fate. <clears throat> if it's using the Hatch's attack modifier deck, you feel like you should be able to use the favorite. Yeah, you're just controlling the character. You're not doing the attack. Right, do I want to create light for next turn? I guess I probably do, right? That will allow me to do shocking advance, maybe? Oh, I guess this won't do anything, though, because I'm not being able to perform any part of the card, huh? Yeah, I'm not performing any part of the card. So I could go here and try and get some good shielding up. It's an option. So I guess we'll go there. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Refund. I, I would prefer this guy to be dead right now. I would really prefer him to be dead. So I think we know we've probably got a big shield turn coming up. At least on three things. Hopefully on more than that. Might be able to hunker down here, stun this guy. Go for a night, nice ricochet play, maybe. If I get the favorite on this guy. Okay. What are we working with? We haven't got anything. We need... Well, we haven't got anything here at all. I guess I got Barbaric Instincts, which is pretty good. I haven't got Swift Strength. So we can go one, two, three, four. We can shield up to four this turn. And we'd create fire for the turn after, which would give us another shield. Seems good. <clears throat> all right. Demo is just going to go late. She's got her earth here to do a big a big attack now. And possibly just a stun. Or maybe stun poison and then something else. Nah, I think going on 88 is pretty important here. Although having said that, if we're going there, then does it really matter? Probably doesn't. Well, actually, if they have a if they have a target to attack, it does. There you go. There it is. Oh, did I mess up? Oh, I messed up. I'm going to be too far away. I needed to go. I needed to go on the 16. All right, restart around. That's fine. I needed to be on the 16. I forget that the uh, the Void Warden can't go earlier than 15. It's, it's very important that one is 16 and one is 15. <clears throat> Yes, the character taking the action treats it like any other move or attack action they would make. They can modify it using relevant cards in their active area, and they can draw a modifier card from their deck. That's what BGG says. BGG has spoken. Is that like an official, um, is that an official, uh, in the official FAQ or anything like that? Or is it something else? Sometimes it's good to clarify that too.
Mm -mm -mm. Not from the FAQ. Is it just from? Is it is it Isaac in a thread or something? No curse for me. What would be a good next turn? Maybe disarm. Disarm and heal would be pretty good. Maybe gift of the void again. I will leave it for now. I'm not entirely sure I know exactly what I want to do there. Well, that is an attack five poison though, right? Hmm. Do I really want to take that kind of damage? Just to kind of maybe... Then I'm only tanking this guy though. It's kind of tough, huh? Five poison. It's a big attack. I'm going to have like shield four and it does do it last. So. But then I take this as well, right? One, two, three. Four. Kind of a tricky one here, huh? Tank it. <laughs> You're a bad influence. I mean, it makes sense because I could do some damage here too, right? But then also I could just do some damage to these. That frees up my attack here a little bit. Or I could go here and just pull this guy instead. Right? That also seems pretty decent. Because I'll be able to tank this damage. I should be able to at least. Pull this guy. Then I do a damage here, damage here. And I can start sort of the, the punishment on these two. I'm going to kill this with the hatchet anyway with Ricochet. So. I think that seems better. So now I got shield three, attack four, attack three, attack four. Twelve health. I think I can tank that from three things. Okay, good start so far, chat. Pretty good. Let's just hope this kind of goes goes down well, should we? Nope. Bad start. <laughs> Better. 
Again? Curse? Fine. Okay. Better to attack for four and stun or, or poison attack for three. I think the plus one attack on muddle is probably better here, right? I guess if I'm stunning him, the muddle... Actually, no, it's not because of the... It's definitely not because I'm muddling. I'm stunning him anyway. Yeah, it's definitely not. I should definitely have done this. Yeah, that's a mistake. I'm not going to redo the round for that, though. That was dumb because, of course, the muddle's going to wear off by the time the stun wears off. That was silly. Keep fighting. I will. Thank you, Pashu. I really appreciate it, buddy. For using your Twitch Prime, your Amazon gaming sub here. Your Bezos Bucks. I appreciate it, buddy. Thanks so much. The quest continues, my friend. Hope you're having a great day. Do I want to get a card back here? This is the kind of situation where it's like, oh, it's time to get a card, maybe. No, I don't think so. We got a stun, right? Stuns are good. Now maybe we can go here and flame shroud warrior of the sun, right? That seems pretty good. I could Nah, I need, I need, I need, probably need this. I feel like that seems quite good because this guy stuns, so we just don't really care about him. We could go here, potentially lock down these two. Then we could go up to three shield with chain armor. Seems pretty decent. This guy, hopefully, we can kill this turn. I really hope so with something like a follow through. Follow through center mass, maybe, and we could shut. We could chuck on a a charge down. So what would that be? That would be so we'd be attacking for four, five, six, seven. I think we need a stun. I think we need a stun here. Unless what can we do with you? I guess we could disarm, couldn't we? Or we could go for Wicked Scratch. Also seems kind of okay. That would be three guaranteed push an attack and potentially move away move four attack three range four so they are going to move away so the immobilize is actually going to work out really nicely here on these two right It's annoying that that this is going before my Void Warden, though. I probably should have gone. Uh, probably should have gone early on Void Warden. I think. What are we doing differently this attempt? So this attempt, I'm trying to keep in hand Shield of the Desert for the for the next room. I want to keep the bottom of Shield of the Desert for room two. Every single time we've played, we've done Shield of the Desert in the first room. It's been good value, but I found my Red Guard just can't get over the hump in the last room. This could be like an insane amount of damage in the last room if we time it rightly. We get we get it kind of in the right place. Another thing that I'm trying to do is I've switched a couple of cards around just to give myself a little bit more push and pull. 
Um, so like the hatchet, for example, I've also switched back to disorienting barrage because the model might play a little bit nicer with shield spikes. Um, I just need to basically, I just need to get a little bit more synergy out of the characters. I feel like I've got a decent amount right now. Um, I think we can do more. Only attack three, shield two. Is now a good time to do the extra shield, do you think? I mean, I'll get a, a good amount of damage on two things. But not a crazy amount. These are going to be disadvantaged anyway. And these guys are only attacking for two. So no, I, I guess it's fine. Yeah, so this is kind of awkward because I'm going to be taking damage here. The idea was that we chuck... I'm not going to be able to get that scratch anymore. So do I just attack for three instead? Can we try and kill it? That'd be three. And second for it for four. I guess I could push it away from my team so that it actually attacks the red guard maybe? I don't know. Three guaranteed damage just seems too good right now. But I'm not going to be able to get the Wicked Scratch follow-up, which is what I really wanted here. Oh, I guess I could with the move two, right? Black Boon Bomb could get me it. Okay. Let's keep him there. We'll hide. Is this Vermilion Grove? It kind of is, to be fair. Good throwing hammer, but it just feels a bit, a bit wasteful at this point in time. It's target two though, right? It's range four. I guess we're getting hit by it anyway. Huh? One, two, three. I just, I wish we had the push rules here, you know? I think I do need to stun him, actually. Mm, do I need to stun him? Should I have stunned him there? Because in theory, the Demolitionist is going to be taking four damage there. Seven. So she's basically dead, right? I could go here and I could push. She's still taking all the damage, but this time this guy's muddled. So be two attacker twos and then a muddled attack of four or three, sorry. Three, four, five, six, seven, nine. She could die. She could die. What if I was to push him? I think I'll go to for it anyway. Is 
Like, I could push him here. And then he attacks the red guard instead. Which, obviously, we're shielded up for two. But then we miss out on three damage. I guess if I'd placed the trap somewhere else here. If I placed the trap here, which would have been the smart move instead of there. Then I could have gone there, there. Yeah, that's what I should have done. I'm going to restart the round because I think that that's, that's worth a restart round. I've got all of the pieces there. And I don't mind doing stuff like this for this scenario because it's we know it's such a scenario of fine margins that just working something like that out. And it was nothing to do with like we just didn't take into consideration the focus at the right time. I just kind of blitzed through this character's turn, which I shouldn't have done. Cool. All right. That's good. Is there a restart round button? Yes, if you go to escape, you can restart the round. But you can only restart the round that you're in, and you can only restart it on your turns. So you have to get quite good at knowing when to pause. Because when there's a pause in the game like this, it's there. But if I if it was the enemy's turn, you can't restart around mid-enemy turns. So sometimes you can get kind of a bit screwed by it. Generally speaking, I don't like to hit restart round unless I make a complete massive blunder and or I just like something like that where it was a very marginal difference in what I played and the extra information that the enemies have revealed is not really adding anything to me. Like I would I was always already playing those cars. I was already doing that thing. I just should have placed the trap in one space different. And if I'd actually thought about it a bit more, I, I would have done it right. I just progressed through the turn. So I don't mind me personally. I don't mind doing restart round and something like that. Restart, um, yeah. Turn. Um, two disadvantage. Now we're going to be attacked for one proper one. Two proper threes. I think we'll still be okay, right? We should still be okay. We're going to get something horrible drawn against us. I know it. I just know it. Right, so we go here. Boop, boop, boop. And we still have the Wicked Scratch, which is kind of like the other the other thing we really wanted to do here. <clears throat> hey, Doggin. Third time the charm. I think this might be the fourth time. <laughs> but sure. Does restart around allow you to pick your cards again? Yes, it does. Yeah. And as a as a new player, if you are a new player, Tiger, like you've said, I would kind of use that as a nice tool to learn a little bit because you can then go, okay, like that didn't quite work. Maybe if I change my card there, it can help you recognize situations. You know, I think ultimately you don't want to use it as a crutch, but it will help you to get better at the game. Like to be like, oh, okay, I made a bit of a mistake there. Sure, let's do this. And also it'll help you move through the game a bit quicker and maybe not get like, because I mean, you get bogged down on a scenario that's really hard. For example, Inox Encampment is a scenario that a lot of people get bogged down on. If using a tool like that, you could maybe get through a scenario that's slightly a bit difficult. Bear in mind though, that the game does not reset the RNG when you do restart rounds. So your RNG is kind of set in a way. And also this is a board game. So your attack modifiers, for example, are a deck of cards. So it doesn't reshuffle and just draw a random card every time that you draw an attack modifier. It shuffles only when you draw the zero and the times two and it's in a set order, right? So like you can't, for example, go, oh, I missed on that attack. Restart round, attack and try and get like a crit. Right, and just keep going until you get your crit. It's not like XCOM where it rolls a dice every time. Like, oh, I missed that time or whatever. I, I think X XCOM might do that too, though. No randomness when you use rocks, mate. 
None at all. Um. Well, that's all good, I think. Lovely. Whoa, get the hang of this now! Look at this! Looking good! Or maybe we could do a big one, huh? Maybe it's time for the big one. Craig playing with his fellow obstacle friend. I have to say, I do like... I do like what she does. I think we'd be quite complimentary. Right, what do I do now though? Oi! Oh, I still got the armor. Maybe we do a big one. Maybe it's time we do one of those, eh? I think we're gonna fall in a burn. Yeah, why not? Oh no, 20, not very good though. That's a problem. Um... That was as bad as they could go, really. That's not very nice. That's really not very nice. Well, that's awkward. Zero needs boost of speed and boost of stride, and yeah, tell me about it. How do I feel about sand? Does it get everywhere? Yeah, and all the cracks. And with as many as cracks as I've got, it's a lot of cracks.
That was a crying shame. A crying shame. Oh, I'm not quite sure how that's going. Oh, look, my time's up. Right, I'm not being paid overtime. Thank you. You take back over. You gave speed boots to Void Warden and Hatchet. Prime Sab for a big one. Yeah, I know. It's great, except I wish it didn't go on this fucking initiative. Well, that one should hopefully die. Oh, look at that pull on this guy now, though, huh? Ooh. All of the blesses. All right, here we go. Oh, good flips. Good flips. There we go. We're hanging on. It's a loody damage. Yes. Yes. It's happening, chat. It's happening. Problem is, how much am I going to have for the second room? I'm going to have my best cards because I've only burned one good card. I haven't burned Master of Influence, uh, like just to try and get that going awkwardly. I haven't tried to do anything special on the red card except apart from shield spikes. I just need to now survive, heal, and we'll actually be in a really good position for the next round. Like, really good. Perfect. Actually kind of perfect, I think.
Nice. We just stay away from that spot there. We're good. I think we're good here. All right, that was slightly disappointing. But we could have definitely missed on a worse one. Just drop back one hex a minute. We on the long rest next turn on the hatchet. Bonk. This is interesting because I could. So Void Warden essentially is going to be Lure of the Void to make this guy walk through two traps, take six damage. Or I could move this guy away, I guess. Oh, I've got so many things I could do here. Could go here, pull. Problem is I don't have any. Well, actually, I would probably want to do this. Potentially just move and attack this guy. This guy's going to have to go all the way around right now. Or I could just force this guy this way. Into this corner. It would have been nice if we killed him. If we killed him, we could have been more aggressive. That flip on the hatchet really slowed us down. So this could be like I could go to like here, for example. Force this guy through three traps, which would be pretty cool. Force this guy through one trap would probably be better though. What's the range on this? Range three? One, two, three, seven. It'd still be able to get me, though. That's the kind of sad part of it. Maybe it makes more sense to just walk this guy down into this trap, right? Or walk him up into this one, maybe. Oh, that was dumb, because this guy can still get me. One, two, three, four. Why did I think that he couldn't get me that, for some reason? I guess he's disarmed, right? He's disarmed. It's fine. One, two, three, four. He can get to there. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's no, fine. I get here. It's all good. And I just make him walk one. So I use this for the attack. No, because I don't need the extra move, right? I, I do. It's all good. I'm working out. Straight walk him into that corner. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting the disarm part of this. I thought I was just controlling him there. We've only got one card in hand, so it kind of makes sense for us to use a stamina potion here. Do I need it, though? Long resting here. Should kill this. I need to long rest here. Long rest here. I guess I should. It's kind of like my responsibility as the Void Warden here, it feels, to keep the party kind of together. So we've got close to the Abyss, which is a nice little heal. Um, but I would need some way of maybe dealing with the enemies, too. All running away, I guess. 
Good use suggestion. 23. Get in that bag. This is going well, but we need to kind of... I mean, there's still a lot of health on these two guys. But in theory, we should be good to kind of deal with them fairly comfortably. Um, cards to get rid of here. I feel like implode is, is probably the weakest thing. The ATA initiative is kind of nice, though. Is Rubble really going to be that good anymore? There's a lot of things to jump on in the next room, right? There's a lot of things to jump on. Hmm. Lob charge. I th I, lob charge is something we can actually use in a decent way, so I kind of want to keep that. Piston punch is the same deal. Explodes um, a necessary move. Knock out the support is good just for a bit of damage and potentially for something more. Mm, yeah, lots of obstacles at the end of this scenario. Yeah. Maybe we do get rid of the late. The problem with this is that then... I, was, I guess I've already used my cloak, actually. Yeah, I've already used my cloak. So I, I don't get some really super duper go early, cloak, go late kind of turn, right? Unfortunately for me, that's uh, that ship has sailed, so... Long resting is kind of needed on this character, unfortunately. I guess the problem is, is that if they have range, what do they, they have like a range four target two or range three target two, then long resting would be a really bad idea here. But I need to long rest on, on him to get the health. Maybe I short rest on my hatchet. Problem is that I don't have a good favorite attack. I guess I could just do disorienting barrage on fancy hat, maybe. No, I don't really have a good attack with that either. But I do have throwing hammer, so I could stun something as well. Hmm. Feels like one of those turns where we're very close to maybe being in trouble, <laughs> you know? Uh, crushing weight can kill this on two. That's nice and simple. Then I just need something else to do, I guess, which would be lob charge would be the kind of obvious thing, right? Hmm. I don't love my turn. I guess I could always go invisible here if needed. Then they will walk through a trap if they do their like attack disarm or something. Don't really want to waste my invisibility already though. This is a key turn, chat. A key turn. Would be really nice to get these both back, huh? The only other thing is to do something like the bottom of this. The top of this. Right? Hmm. 
Is that not key? <laughs> yeah. Let's see what they do. I'm kind of hoping for the move heal. Okay. What is this? Like, why can't I place it here? This love charge thing is really starting to bug me. Really starting to bug me. Because we've had multiple times where it's just not worked. I don't know why. I should be able to put them in these two hexes. I mean, it's, it's extending three hexes this way. You want to say line of sight, but obstacles don't block. Exactly. So I felt like I put it here. We're gonna move this guy to here. We're not gonna trigger this trap. I mean, I guess he's probably just gonna go through it. This guy's gonna go through it anyway, but I'd rather get the non-muddled like attack here. Mm. 
There it is. <laughs> That's what we needed. That's what we needed. I was like, I needed to be muddled and just draw like bad. Come on. Buy us that time. That's all we needed. A little bit of time. Okay. Hmm. I'm guessing twirling stabs is the weak point now, right? Everything else is pretty damn good here. Barrage is pretty good at killing the little vermelings in the first in the first section of the room, right? I guess it's also what's our weakest card in general. Let's just our weakest card in general. Hey, could you know? Had to go for a bit. How's the scenario looking? Much, much better so far. I feel really good. I know it doesn't look great right now, but we've got all of the things we need to kind of keep going. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Okay, I know I need to go and get this axe back. So we know we're playing retrieval here. To be honest, care package would be a really nice thing to play to help get some, some health back on a few of these guys. I'm a bit concerned that I'm not doing too much on all of these. I think maybe we need to do Desert Knight. Do I have crushing? No, I don't. Paid it last turn, right? Kill this one, maybe Desert Knight, this guy. Am I going to use my boots? One, two, three. Hmm. Could use my boots here. Just to get in there, right? With the jump. Get a shield off. Yeah, why not? Alright, well there's the heal. Does change things slightly, I think. What are they doing? They're healing for three. Ha! 
May as well just try and do as much damage as I possibly can. Okay. Nice little retrieval here. All of the gold. Maybe not goggles here. Maybe just the favorite. Oh, close. Guess maybe it would have killed him. So maybe you could argue that it would have been a good good time to do that. But let's get our red guard healed up a bit more. We do now, unfortunately, have a full health. A full health one to deal with, right? A little bit awkward. But we should be able to stun him for next round. Let me kill the other one. Just yell at him till he heals. <laughs> yeah. Mind Thief could double stun. Basically, Mind Thief. <laughs> Demo could double stun. Yeah, he could double stun on like 40 something trash in his shit. Well, 33, I guess, in theory. It's possible. It's awkward, but it's possible. Just have to literally uh, put your life on the line. Lots of heals now, I think. We need to keep all of our heals for this next room. Try and get some blesses up before we go in. I know you're going to hate me for this chat, but I'm feeling like Master Influence is like the weakest card. I know you hate me for it, but honestly, I... Or maybe Wicked Scratches, actually. Maybe we can scratch this. Because at least now I could go for like a bless. And a big heal. Do I have a little pull here? Yeah, I do. on lots of controlled attacks in the next room you want that influence top yeah but i'm not sure if i will you know So much gold. Okay.
We need some blessings on this hatchet. Poor Vermeling. Excuse me? Poor Vermeling. Really? You know what this guy's been doing to me? <laughs> In this scenario? This is payback. <laughs> this is classic payback, alright? This guy has been... Bane of my life, all right? Um, okay, let's take a look at this. He's gonna be stunned anyway. <laughs> so things are the bad guys here? Absolutely. not feel sorry for them. We are quite low on cards on the Demolitionist, huh? I mean, Rubble is nice. Lob Charge is going to be pretty good, too. Piston Punch maybe might be the weakest card we have, but they're just having a push. <sighs> maybe we just say goodbye to Strengthen. Probably not going to happen that much anymore, really. Right, we should be able to get all this off, right? Close to the Abyss as well to get these guys and damage. Potentially another heal to the void. Get towards the door. Yeah, I mean, just get towards the door, right? Alright, things are looking pretty good. Chat, pretty good.
May as well get some may as well get some XP while we're at it, huh? <clears throat> the long track to get to the door now. To quit the game, make a copy of my save just in case. I don't know. We felt we felt very similar to this last time, so. It was a pretty similar situation last time. We were feeling all confident. You know, we had a really good first room. The difference here, though, is we've only really burnt one, one card, right? Like, big card that we had to burn, which was the big one. The Demolitionist has got a very small hand size, so she's always going to feel, you know, like she's dying. This was just her resting. And we even long rested in several times she just hasn't got the stamina maybe that's a bit of a concern with this character in general long rest long rest so i need to i need to plan my door opening right i could try and open the door oh, i'm so close A late, a late door opening with, with on these guys long resting could have been big there. Do I just do I just long rest with my void warden maybe? Just so then we're like kind of back to square one with three characters. Sure the demo is going to be the demo is going to be wildly off anyway and she's not really going to play a big part of the opening of the room anyway. Like she's really not We long rest, we get rid of... What do we get rid of? Freezer Soul's good. Black Boon's pretty good. We've made some good use out of it so far. Give and take, obviously, very good. Ooh, these cards are must keeps too. Am I going to play the top of Master Influence chat? Really? No. So therefore, is this not just the weakest card we have now? Because all it literally reads is just bless range 2 on AC3. Like, it, if we're not playing the top, which I don't think we are, then really this card is just 83 initiative, bless that's it. Because we it's unlikely we get the poison because of the fact that the enemies are always going to be like range four away from us. So they're not going to move a lot. It's going to be difficult without putting ourselves into a, a really awkward position. Right? And if you consider that in this room, the enemies are here and here. Here and here is where they start. So I'd have to get to the door as well. Like, it just feels awkward. Burn Master. Yeah, I think you're right. We go along rest, we burn Master Influence. Yeah, if you don't play the top, it isn't really useful. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, it, to be fair, it did work quite well just to load us up with blesses a little bit before the next room. So it did work out quite well to just... Like, now we're in a nice position where we feel like we've got a couple of blesses. You know, we draw on, on some crucial targets at some crucial times. We've, we've got a real good chance of winning this now. But again, I don't want to count my chickens. We need to play super... We need to play, I don't know, like super tight. Would be useful just for frenzy. True. Would also be okay for the other, what was it, the other poison card we have? But it's like we're burning a card to maybe get an additional two damage and two lots of advantage, I guess. Some point. This is like pretty weak. 
Maybe a late desert night is good here. This is good. This is good. We need all of the shield we can get, right? This is all going to be about... So do we get rid of Desert Knight or do we get rid of Blinding Sickle here, chat? This is an interesting one. In theory, Blinding Sickle is pretty good if we can get it on a Shaman. We've only got three health, the little guy, the uh, the regular. Five health, I think, on the Elite. Being able to disarm something, what does that do? Well, if you disarm a shaman, then potentially they could walk up to you, which could be good. Be nice to have them in close proximity. However, this is just a little bit more damage and it makes a relevant element. What's our element generation like on our other cards? Not amazing. We've only got Warrior of the Sun, which then we would use into Shocking Advance. I guess the move six jump could come in clutch at some point in this scenario. Disarm helps us finish the scenario off. It means that we can just sort of like play proactively, like we don't need to go... The problem with um, shield spikes, right, is that it's it's really good when you can get multiple triggers in a round. But if there's only two or three enemies going all in on that, it's okay. But maybe it's better to just disarm them. and Especially if you're dealing with an enemy that has non-attack abilities occasionally, which we are. I don't know. I think it's really tight. Doesn't block the heal. Doesn't block the trap. Risky for a biscuit. <clears throat> So if I get rid of power pitch, I won't have any good push on stopping power, like, ever. Maybe we get rid of sense of mass, because realistically, we can play, like, this instead. Awkward one, because I know a lot of people play that all the way through, pretty much. Like, even up to high level. Okay. Alright. How are we going to go about opening this door? Well, it makes kind of sense for it to be the Void Warden, but unfortunately, she's going to struggle. She hasn't got anything that's greater than move four. So that isn't going to happen. So at least we're going to have that for a future turn. Makes sense to maybe use Signs of the Void. Get him very close. Then potentially I could do a Black Boon myself and just move a little bit closer so we can get him to like... He, we get him to like within one hex of it, right? Actually, we can get we could get him to open the door. We definitely want to open the door with like a couple of shields, maybe. Have Damo generate fire for that bottom move shield. Yeah, we could do, but we'd have to go kind of late for that right I mean, what do we got 33 i guess but then i was gonna tr i was gonna try and chuck something in this into the room to be honest i was thinking about getting here and just chucking it over his head <laughs> hopefully 
Hey, Dan, did I try and decide to try it for the fourth time? Same team? Yes. We made a few minor card choices, but since our last attempt, we haven't bought any items or anything, but we, um, we did change a few cards around. I mean, we would have shield two, possibly three with chain armor. And we, we shouldn't be put under too much pressure initially. And we can always use our boots to run away a bit if we need to, right? Have Vo Void One use signs too? Yeah, we're going to use signs for sure. This pretty much goes before everything except for the shaman. So we can open the door comfortably if we really, really wanted to here, right? Sixty nine, sixty nine. Mm. They're going for the he's going for the old immobilize here, huh? What do we think? Immobilize one of these guys on our turn? Thing is, that I'm going to get up. Am I? Are they going to be able to get me? No, I ain't going to get me anyway. It's all good. We can stay here. Come on, shamans. Do your worst. Is there another character that sets traps at range, like lob to charge in Gloomhaven? No. There is, um, we saw a Crimson Scales one, right? There's a Crimson Scales one. I'm trying to think there is one that we've definitely seen, a character that does do it. I think it's Crimson Scales character. Getting attacked for two lots of five kind of sucks, huh? Oh, I guess I could chuck a trap down, right? Here. 
I won't get hit at all. But do we want to get hit? That's the question here. Because getting hit is a little bit of damage. If I put it somewhere where I still get hit by one thing. I mean, it's, it's two damage and taking an attack of five. I think it's S. Probably not worth it. Chuck it in the door. I don't think you... What? Hang on. Could we? Oh, by the way, there needs to be an undo button for that, Debs. So I know. You, I think you guys know about that. There's, there's no undo once you click on the thing. I don't think I could put it on the door. I shouldn't be able to. Pretty sure you can't put traps indoors. I think I need to get here. Let's see if we can put it in the door. I don't think we should have been able to there, but... Thought traps you can, just not obstacles. Maybe that's me getting confusing myself, yeah. It's so the 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 problem is the wording on the card. <clears throat> you see it says empty hex. Like they kind of changed terminologies of what is empty and not empty, right? So an empty hex in the board game would be something that doesn't have a tile in it essentially that was the old rule and doors were tiles so i've always thought you couldn't do it do i have a list of the ability cards of the monsters if you remember correctly you somewhere had something like this i do but i haven't got the jaws ones in yet um i will try to you can go to my tools spreadsheet oh by the way if anybody wants any just general useful information about the game check it out um, just an open Google Doc, loads of information about the game, uh, which can be useful if you're, you know, if you want to find out like how the board game did things. <clears throat> hey, Howie. Ultimate Munchkin spreadsheet. It is. If you want to know something about the game that's not in the game, there, there it is. <laughs> if you want to know just anything about the game that's not in the game, especially the base, the main game, then it is. But I do need to get the, the Jaws of the Lion stuff in there, but it's a bit difficult because I don't think anybody's actually got any scans. So all of the Gloomhaven, base game Gloomhaven information is kind of readily available um, as just you can download it. You could almost print and play the game if you wanted to. Uh, there's so much there. But the Jaws of the Lion stuff, I'm not sure if I've ever... I found, like, pockets of information. But I don't think I've ever found somewhere where it's all saved. So if somebody does find that and knows where that is, let me know. Because, um... That could actually be quite useful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the other option I have is actually just to go to here instead of to here, right? But I was thinking, is it good to try and create a bit of space around me here? If I go here, I could just chuck the trap there. Then one of these guys is going to go on it and the other guy is going to go on the trap, right? So then we get a guaranteed trap trigger anyway. Guess we can do that. Hang on, shouldn't I have two shield? What? Hang on, what? Why do I only have one shield, chat? Did I skip something? 
Did I skip the shield? Oh, bleh. I meant to skip the movement. I double skipped. The movement and the shield. Okay. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. It's all good. We don't want to be doing this again. So it's all good in my books. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Maybe if I do it this way instead. No, oh, I'll keep doing it the way I'm doing it. I knew, knew. <sighs> Happened a lot that you skipped, Chris. Yeah, I can see that. There's, um... The, the other problem that I get is obviously I... I played the game so much now that it can sometimes get very awkward. I also have the double click activate on. So it's an option that you can turn off in the settings where I think if you double click, it confirms. So I, I do that, right? So if I click twice in the same place, it actually confirms the ability. You can actually turn that off, so you have to physically click the the button. Or turn that on. Either way, it's either start it's defaulted off or defaulted on. One of the two. So that could help. Right, go here, confirm movement. Skip movement. Confirm shield. <clears throat> all right, it's all good. Would well, you look at that? Get ready to crash the game. <laughs> I mean, now I just block up the door, right? Completely. Which guy's going to come in first? This guy. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> Whoops. All right, now now my hatchet's stuck again. <laughs> Whoops. When you do too much damage. <laughs> Jesus, he's still got a pretty good draw still. That's a nice turn. These guys can't do anything. So even if they pull their ranged attack now on the next turn, they can't do anything. This is perfect. Lob charge on the door, chat. This is the new strat. Every scenario now. No excuses. Only problem being, how the hell do I get this back? Oh, boy.
Kind of a problem. I guess I could do a, a strength and like attack of two or something with follow through just on this guy anyway. Gonna run away a little bit. I had a curse here. Okay, perfect. Actually, perfect. If I go late, I could do retrieval and throw it again. Yeah. At the moment, though, this is going excellently. This is exactly how we want this room to go. We are playing this very well. The worst thing on the world I could do right now is just move forward. Like, there's no reason to move forward. We're in such a powerful position right now. They're about to put a load of traps down as well, which is only going to help us. Thank you very much. Blocking that pathway up. Now they got to go all the way around. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. that's a bit bm though uh these classes in gloomhaven as well now these are the jaws of the lion dlc um but they're not in the base game of you'd have to buy jaws of the lion separately so in terms of like a value proposition this is really good value because jaws of the lion the base game is i don't know it's like 40 bucks or something chat 50 bucks maybe Well, that's disappointing. Come on. Maybe 30 on a good sale. Right. Yeah. And the DLC is what? 15 bucks? About half the price. In the US, you've seen Jaws the Lion as low as $30. That's crazy, man. I guess it is because it was a Target game, right? It was a Target exclusive.
know what time it is. Time for more traps. It's kind of scary, really. Oh, wow. These boys are going before. That's a bit of a problem, huh? Three. I can get to shield two. That's not great, though. If I kill this guy, then put a trap on the door, right? Ooh, good draw. Maybe we use this. How's the scenario going? Okay, but we're in a bit of a rough spot right now. I think I have to just in case. I'm going to get attacked by this guy maybe. Kill him, put a bomb there. This guy comes and he attacks this guy with disadvantage. Oh, there's gold there now. Oh, I forgot. There's gold there now. It's one attack of three into a shield two guy. Versus I just take a hit of... I just take one hit, right? And then this guy walks into this trap here. Oh, I shouldn't have used the friggin' armor now. Because now I can't short rest and use it another turn. I move there. 
That hedges pretty well. They've got no times two, no plus two chat in their deck right now. Look at look at the enemy deck. They've got two plus ones, four plus zeros, a lot of minus ones, a minus two, and a miss. So what's that? Four? That's six good cards versus what's that? Four. Five, six, seven bad cards. We are favored for them to flip a negative modifier here, percentage wise. Dangerous game to play. It is. But if we want to talk about percentages and chances, we're about what? 60 something percent? Surely they will draw a plus one. There's only two plus ones in the deck. So it's six cards versus what? Eight cards? Seven cards. Oh, it's not actually that bad. It's actually like maybe high 50s. Less than 60, yeah. You're waiting for this to go wrong? Hmm. Restart round prepared. I don't want to cheese it too much, though. I'd rather just, like... Fifty-eight point three percent chance of a negative. I like those odds, you know. Fifty-eight, fifty-three point eight percent. I can't bring myself to do it, right? I shouldn't have checked. <laughs> nice. What? How is this possible? Where's this witchcraft? You played too much XCOM Battle Brothers to know that 58% equals dead player. <laughs> Mate, in XCOM, 1% means dead player. 99% chance to hit, right? Right. Still going pretty well, but I obviously now need to long rest here, really. I feel like the play is to swap out and go invis in the door. Can I get out fairly early? I can. I can actually do a pretty nice attack and then run away. What we think.
We swap on the door. Void Warden needs to go invisible, so we just need to find like a move that goes after 22. So maybe Resign Fate. It's good, but it's not like how we win, I think. Big heal five on the uh, on the red guard, so we can get back in next turn, maybe. Let's see how this goes. Oh man, these raiders! Although this immobilizes a big problem. Oh, we might be dead. How how, how are you supposed to beat like eight initiative? Shamans with a bunch of characters that don't go before eight. Nobody can go before them. Nada. I mean, I may as well just do as much damage as I can here, I guess. Yeah, we might might be over for us there, huh? Ooh, they can get in behind us next turn, which is kind of interesting. I guess what would be really good is if I could control this guy through a trap or something. Or this guy straight through this trap. But you need to kill the shaman soon. The curses and the heals are both problems. Yeah. Got to try and come up with a good way of doing that, though. That's the thing. Okay. Finally. We could just go for a big favorite or play or something on this guy next turn. Maybe I should have done it for this turn. <sighs> Two curses, one bless.
We've got really lucky with these raiders, but we need to kill these guys pretty sharpish now, huh? Pretty sharpish. Do you want Blinding Sickle for a late play at some point? Yeah, maybe. And it's just got good value against these guys. Like running in and immobilizing them, then going like Blinding Sickle next turn with something else. Just to do some pure damage straight through to their faces. Like Barbaric Insult in Instincts is very good. Like we could just run in here, shield up, right? Do a big shield turn next turn. Problem is we put ourselves in danger with these guys by doing that. But in theory, we could get here. We could lock these two down. These guys would die fairly quickly. I think Blinding Sickle has to be the thing we lose, though, because it just doesn't give a shield. But the Immobilize is good, too. These guys don't always attack. That's the thing. So it's, it's unreliable to try and, like, play shield spikes against them, huh? You see the Shocking Advance or Blinding Sickle? Yeah. Shocking Advance is an attack, which is quite nice. But I guess most of the time I'm playing this... So what do, my, what do my turns look like? One turn, I'm going to burn the bomb of this, right? And we'll have a big go. That will happen. Don't you just love that we've also still got three enemies with 19 health? That we're not even thinking about right now? Don't you just love it? This is good. This is good against them. Could be good here in this situation too. Shield, 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 shield. No shield, chat. <clears throat> Burn the attack six with the favorite. Only if I have strength, then. There's no way I'm doing that if I don't. <laughs> Suicide. Um... Could do a big give and take. Try and get a bunch of curses going. The problem is these guys might not... Like, the thing is, I could jump... And I could do barbaric. It doesn't really do anything. Really, I want to warrior of the sun here, right? I think I do. I think immobilizing these guys is better. Because then I can potentially follow it up. With barbaric instincts next turn. This also gives me light, which I could use for shocking advance next turn if I wanted to, and then shield of the desert if it all kind of pans out. You don't need to do the lure dark move thing with the shaman and the trap, you think. Yeah, that's true. I guess I could just move this guy straight into there, huh? Pretty easy. And maybe I just move away myself. Red Guard goes in. Red Guard's going to have shield 2 plus this up to shield 3. It's going to be pretty good. We could also stun something if we really need to here. Ricochet I, Ricochet, I feel like, is our best card. So, like, I have to keep it.
I could kill the elite. Oh, it's 21 though. Just thinking like, is there a way that I could kill the elite? I, I could try and put another bomb here and do it again, right? And get him to go through two. I don't know. This is tricky. Maybe I can just long rest there. Oh, I, I don't know. This is so like... It, I should just move on. See what happens. Okay. The Raiders are healing. Great. Really good. Shemans are going late. Great. Okay. This works out nicely for us, right? So we can go here like this. These guys are attacking, but we should have a bunch of shields to be able to deal with them. So that's that's good. We go here or here? Honestly, I think I go here. Oh, but now I can't move the... Uh, but, but it, now I can't move the guy through the trap. We'll get there. There's so many intricate pieces here. Five power for the Shaman Elite is brutal. It's actually not that bad because it's two traps. So it's not that bad in this scenario, really. Could be way worse. Do the same thing, but skip the immobilize, right? Same thing, skip the immobilize. Okay. <clears throat> Still a Gloomhaven novice. What's the general etiquette for restarting rounds? So for me, it's like if you make a mistake like that, like I knew what I'm doing, like I've got a plan. But I just kind of pressed my cards and like I shouldn't have done the, the like all of this, right? I think that's okay. The bad etiquette, bad etiquette would be playing a set of cards, seeing what the enemy gets, restarting the round and playing new cards. That would be kind of bad etiquette. However, if you're finding the game is hard, I don't really begrudge newer players from playing that way because you get to learn their initiatives, you get to learn what you lose. And it doesn't feel nice to lose like on the last turn of the game. I think I've even done it once or twice on the last turn of a game on a really hard scenario that's taking me like two hours. I'm like, I'm not losing because I flipped, you know, because I played one card wrong on the very last turn or the last two turns, right? So, but the general etiquette would be if the information has not changed, which it hasn't, right? I'm not using new information here to affect where I'm moving, what I'm doing. Like, I'm not. But if you are using new information that you could only get after you've selected your cards, then that would be kind of bad etiquette. Does that make sense?
Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we did it. Give me my axe back. Getting better, clock chat. <clears throat> Do I have more fun playing deadly or is it a challenge thing? You've been playing on brutal early and still winning scenarios, but leaving so much gold on the ground that it anchors you. No, I mean for me, for me, the challenge and the fun of the game is beating a really hard scenario. Like I could play. I mean, to be fair, playing on brutal is would probably mean that I would win most scenarios. Um, and it would still be kind of challenging. Like, you can't phone it in. You know, you still have to, like, really think about what you're doing. But anything below that, I find that, generally speaking, I could almost kind of play with my eyes closed in no sense. Like, it just for me, unless I'm playing a brand new set of characters that maybe is a bit more challenging. But, yeah, really, it, it becomes not a challenge for me. So that's why I play on Deadly. Is that it, I just want to have that, the hardest possible challenge, really. Because that's fun like for me it's maybe taken us five times to beat this scenario but we've beaten this scenario like on deadly with four characters hopefully i mean we still got some stuff to go here like i don't want to touch wood right it's not we haven't won yet but we're looking good we've got a good setup and if we do it then that will be like a big like a big win for me like i'll be very happy with that really really happy with that So, what do we do here, huh? Do we short rest? Do we go for the big turn? And by big turn, <laughs> I mean we short rest, we go swift strength, we use barbaric instincts, we'll do a bunch of damage, get ready to shield spikes. This will go up to three. Yeah, boy. A little bit. Spicy. We go for Signs of the Void. We chuck a heal on as well before it all goes down. I could do Shields of the Desert and Barbaric Instincts. Yeah, but the problem is, is these guys are ranged, right? And they've just drawn their move and heal. So there's a good chance right now they just draw their, like... And if they draw their multi-target as well, that's kind of brutal. And then what I would do the turn afterward is I'd play Shield of the Desert. Um, I, I guess I wouldn't have Warrior of the Sun then. But maybe I wouldn't necessarily need it. I guess I could use Shocking Advance maybe. I don't know. To me, it feels like short resting, getting Swift Strength to just get to here. 
could be massive right now. Shield of Desert is in shocking advance. Oh, I see what you mean to push. Mobilize the elite next to me. Yeah, but then I think I'm like, what? I've got shield three. And that's good against this, this, and this. I really need shield of the desert to pop off against like... These guys, right? I think I do. What else could I do? I got lob charge. So in theory, I could... Chuck some a nice bomb somewhere. Could be relevant, right? We do have close to the abyss, so I could walk. Some guy into a trap. But I'd have to go super late to do that. That's not really worth it. What's the hatchet doing? Well, I could push this guy. Do a trap and favorite him. Thing is, though, is that if he's going to target somebody, that's kind of brutal, right? I need to kind of get in there and... I really feel like immobilizing these guys or potentially barbaric instincts them is what I need to do, right? Either way... Well, sorry, that is what I'm going to do, right? That. Demo is just going to chuck a useful obstacle, hopefully. Or honestly, maybe actually just walk here and attack this guy for a bunch. Could just try and kill this. It's not bad. Hatchet's the awkward one, right? Because it's not a really great initiative. Another novice question. Is Gloomhaven Digital popular enough for the devs to create more content in the future? To quote the, uh, the I think, the official Asmodee Twitter account earlier today, Gloomhaven Digital has sold half a million copies. And they have confirmed they're working on more DLC than this. They did that on my stream on Monday. We had the devs on for a Q&A on Monday. And they confirmed that, confirmed they're working on more DLC. But they, they confirmed, I think, earlier today, they've sold half a million copies of the game. Which, you know, for like a... For essentially a, quite a niche, like, you know, board strategy game. It's pretty damn good. <laughs> Any guess of what the DLC could be? That's a sticky wicket for me, my friend. <laughs> What's the notice? I'm under an NDA, all right? So I can't say anything. <laughs> so I don't even like to speculate. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, bu bu bu. No, it's okay. I get asked it all the time. It's fine. Loads of people ask me. Um. Who am I moving here? 
Nobody. Not this turn. I think, I think this is okay. Okay. Let's get that. Honestly, I think I move here because this guy's going to move away anyway, right? And then this means this guy comes to get me instead. I think I might try and kill this guy with the favorite anyway. I might just go for it. Right, all I need on shield four. Then maybe I should move away here. I mean, I could heal. What do I die to? A plus two draw, a bless draw. It will be a will be a zero anyway, so that's fine. So there's one card in the deck I'm scared of, which is plus two, which actually does. Well, actually, I'm only on shield four. I guess they could draw plus ones. This is risky as hell. I really hope I kill this with the favor, I guess. Oh, come on, dude. Are you kidding me? It's the same thing again. The like one round I need it. I need you to fucking hit. One round, I'm like, dude, if I hit this, I kill this guy, then these guys are all dealt with. We're in a really good place. Next time, I can, like, jump in. <laughs> yeah, boy. A little bit spicy. I mean, now what? I take an attack of five here, I guess? I mean... Dude. The null cares not for my plans. <laughs> Did I not use the armor? Did I not use the armor? Oh, you're right. I didn't use the armor. Restart around anyway. I forgot to use the armor anyway. Oh, God. <laughs> I tell you what. They just don't want me to complete this scenario, huh? It's just written in the stars. Like, nah. Let's not let him do that. Let's not let him do that.
Newt, newt. Sad newts today. I still have to... I'm still doing what I'm doing. I'm just gonna... Make sure I use the armor this time. Do everything like how I was supposed to do it. Do it all the same way. Hey, sassy. How is it going? Good to see you. Welcome, raiders. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you had a great uh, stream, sassy. Playing Gloomhaven today? Amara Bear Cats, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the quest. Enjoying more Gloom DLC? Nice. Did I do it again? How did I get to shield four without without it? I used the top of the sign of the void. Today is being an interesting day. <laughs> god damn it, dude. Oh my god. Okay, right, right, come on. This is the one. This is the one. <clears throat> Armor. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kira. Did I skip it somewhere else now? One, two, three. Hang on. So I'm not going insane? So I had it right the first time? I'm not going to change the way I do things just to, just because, you know. Okay, so I think what I want to do now is I want to use the favorite and ricochet onto like maybe this guy or something. Never drawing where I want to draw. Never. You need to go walk your pups. So you'll be lurking. Have a great stream. Awesome, Sassy. And thank you so much for uh, gifting her a sub. Flu kiss. I appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. It's very, very kind of you. Well, welcome to the adventure room party, Sassy. Not a great start. 
better. I mean, it's Shield of the Desert, right? It's either that or it's like Flame Shroud and like... I mean, it's, it's, now, it's now or never, right? It's pretty much now or never. Feels like it's now or never. Welcome to the quest, Tris. Hope I said that right. TR227. Thank you. Welcome. It's now and ever, and then they don't attack. You can always use the top. That is true. It's also a pretty good time to use Redine Frenzy, right? It's not bad time. Or do I just use Signs of the Void to again just really, really ram it home? I also have Explode here. This will do two damage to this guy. Stun him up. But that would be it. That would be my turn, right? Knock, knock. Hmm. Or honestly, I just go lob charge and then I long rest and I try and do it next turn. Like we just get a we get a bomb out. Bomb could be quite nice for a bit of fire, I suppose. I mean, Resign Frenzy's looking kind of nice, but I, I'm going to have, what, shield three? Just three. Which isn't going to be enough, really, is it? These guys are attack four. So I kind of need to get the four. And maybe the heal again. Really. Safe play. Good draw. I mean, I can attack with the favor to these guys pretty comfortably. I should go for one of these guys with a lot of health, I guess. That didn't matter. They're only attacking for three, but I think it makes sense to, like, really buffer this. <clears throat> How am I dealing with the Shaman? I think explode. Bomb plus explode. Maybe. Oh, dude, I don't have boots. No. All right, well.
<clears throat> We're doing it, but it's... Thank God for Iron Helm. So now we got we got another double shield turn potentially flame shroud shocking advance right we can walk this into this trap Seems quite nice, right? I don't really have a great top to play with that, though. Hmm. Zone Frenzy top. Yeah, but that one, two... I guess the only things that can attack, though, are, like, these three, right? There are only things within range three. But, like, is that okay at this point in time? I mean, maybe it is. I mean, we're only missing out on what? A little bit of damage? Then we crushing weight. Nah, we're one hex away. I should have put the bomb there. Hmm. Problem is, there's like a move or a target too here, right? That could be a bit nasty. Maybe I just long rest here then, huh? Long rest here. We'll go hatchet. Push. So favorite, stopping power. Push. That means I don't need close to the abyss. Maybe that is good, though. That means I don't need this. That means I could move two. That means I could get maybe an extra... I only get, like, one extra attack off, I suppose, with Resign Frenzy, but it might be worth it. Man, this is close. This is so close. So what am I searching for here? We've got to be pretty clear. Barbaric, I guess, with Flame Shroud. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Because it's an extra damage there. It's a shield there. I guess with strength. But yeah, Barbaric is what I want.
I guess instead of that, I could play Shocking Advance. Yeah. Maybe you guys are right. The two health could come into play here, right? That's the thing. The two health could come into play in some way. I'm thinking the other thing I've got here, right, is if I can get crushing weight, that two damage, which I can do, because I could use Black Boon here to just move myself to here. I could move her to there. She can then um, go after this. Actually, no, she can just go one hex. She can go here. Then we go hatchet, push. Then she can use crushing to just go there to just kill. So then we, and then we get another bomb out as well, potentially for another push on another turn. So we want to hit explode here. Okay. Maybe a bit risky, but. Oh no, this doesn't work. No, 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 this doesn't work. Yeah, that was maybe a bit dumb. All right, let's just try this, see what happens anyway. I feel like I might, I may need to restart round because I don't think that that worked very well anyway. All right, that's a problem. Well, actually, no, it's not. Should just heal this radar. Oh, hang on. I can't get the attack, right? Oh, no, I should get the shield still. Okay, cool. I forgot that I was disarmed. Maybe I should have just taken Barbaric. Because then it would have been one point of damage regardless. Yeah, I would have lost one, but... Oh, man. I don't even know. I feel like this might be a round I'll need to redo. We'll see. I hope so, Flukas. I hope so. The thing is, is I think I'm probably dead on this turn, right? I mean, they're attacking for four. I've got shield two, two health. I don't know what I'm hoping for here, really. Okay. 
I beat it in 2024. Thanks. Thanks, Lucas. Did this in the wrong order. Restart the round. Why am I doing this all in the wrong order? Can I restart the round now, please? I think that was the first card that I drew anyway, to be honest. Yeah, I would get I would get the times two. Well, no, I wouldn't because I'd draw the miss, then I'd get the Yeah, I lose the times two, right? I do lose the times two. That's fair. I would have been four damage on one of these guys. Not particularly good that, huh? Didn't kill anything. Restart the round. Yeah, I'm tempted to right now. I would I did that stupidly as well. I definitely did that stupidly. Before I even drew it, I knew it as well. It's not cheating. I knew I'd done it dumb when I did it. I don't know why I just instinctively clicked on that guy first. It's really annoying that you can't kind of undo little things in digital. I know it'll never happen, but it's, yeah, things like that can be really, really rough. The funny thing is, as well, is I had played Barbaric Instincts. We got him. Okay. Did the RNG change? <laughs> yeah, boy. A little bit spicy. I must have short rested on somebody else first. Okay, well, we'll take it. Yeah, I must have short rested on somebody else first. Okay. Probably him, right? I think I'm just going to long rest here, which is what I should have done before anyway. I, I screwed it up anyway because I didn't look at my initiative. I'm just going to long rest here. Maybe we can do something on the next turn that's useful. Bit more damage to these guys. Boy, oh boy, this scenario, chat, huh? This scenario, this is pretty crazy. Are 
Alright, you go first this time. Then what is it? This guy on... Doesn't really, I guess it doesn't matter now, really. This guy on here. I think that'll be the miss, though, right? Yeah, it'll be the miss. Kind of cheesy, but... <laughs> Shush, I won't tell anyone if you don't. <laughs> you kind of like the scenarios balance around plus zero or plus one difficulty and not plus three. That's the way scenarios should be. I so said I like the challenge plus three gives. Always been a big fan. It's enough. It's enough. Come on, some misses, please. Yeah, lob charge bomb crushing away top for sure. Why is the hatchet there? Didn't he die there? Yeah, boy. A little bit spicy. I mean, I'm not complaining, but that seems wrong. I don't know, but it's great. <laughs> yeah. Guess so. Well, I mean, what do I do here? Do I just short rest and just try and... Like, what? what's the play? Like, poison this guy, do a bunch of damage. Signs bomb for initiative, gift of the void top, maybe? Yeah. What if I get black? What if the first card that I draw, though, is either of those two, right? Hatchet doesn't want me to collect your points. <laughs> hey, I know why.
What are we looking for? Black Boon, I guess. Nude, nude. Can we do it on 43 is the question, right? Really? If we, if we burn Gift of the Void, what does our turn look like? It looks pretty garbage, to be honest, right? Looks pretty garbage. Funny story, you were catching up on my Scenario 2 video and I sounded real tired, almost drunk, and then you realized Twitch was playing at 0.75 speed. At the end of last night's stream, I was... I was very tired. Can't re-roll? I guess not, I just have to go on 43. Go on 43. Hope? I don't know. You don't know the Vermin Initiative's enough to say. Well, they have quite a few late ones, which you haven't seen yet. They played a lot of their melee attacks. It's probably arranged. It's probably arranged coming up. Restart. I'm not losing this scenario again. I'm not. I refuse. Have they done their heal yet? I think so. Man, it's so hard. Yeah, the reroll is maybe the only path to win. Now, now it is, right? Now it is. The only other option being that I short rest here to change the RNG, <laughs> right? tough i'm not losing this scenario again the amount of work we've put into this we're like maybe two turns away from winning re-roll the rng go here Probably fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Not cool, man. <laughs> A 
Okay, so who do we who do we attack with this, right? So lob charge. We could go here, attack him for two. Five. That would be five damage right there. Then we crushing weight this guy. Or. Or we go. Or we try and kill with this, right? Leaving only one enemy remaining. But I want to do ricochet. But I won't be able to ricochet because they're not going to be close enough together. Maybe it's better just to straight up kill something. I don't know. It's going to be the 10 health for poison. I mean, yeah, ideally, yes. Ideally, yes. Okay, yeah, I mean, it's got to be. Okay, good. Could go invisible here, but I may as well tank a hit. Right. Let Demo tank. She's dead anyway, right? So she could burn two cards to damage. I mean, I guess she could long rest, but that's nothing, right? She's going to be dead dead. Not be able to do anything. I guess I attack this now, and I hope that I get the ricochet on these two, right? Favorite, non favorite. I guess the only problem here is that I would have to have I got two cards to burn to damage. I could short rest just to have an extra card to burn to damage here. Or I could just go on this and hope it's enough. And stun. And even if I miss, I can go again. 35. It's my earliest initiative anyway. Same number of cards to burn, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> boy. A little bit spicy.
Send me your energy, chat. I definitely could have done that differently as well. Oh, God. I definitely could have done that differently as well. I could have left the Void Warden out of it. Demo takes the damage. Void Warden gets the long rest for one turn. Restart round if I miss. I mean, what, what would that change? Short rest, play the push. Yeah, <laughs> boy. A little bit spicy. Oh my god, please, never again. Never again. <laughs> no, that's a lot of damage. Oh, never again, chat. Never again. Oh. Let's go. Never again. If I never see a Vermeling Raider again, it'll be too soon. Ah. Oh my god. Pokemon, thank you so much for the five gifted, dude. Oh my god. A lot of damage. Oh my god. That was insane. That's the tightest uh, I think I've ever had to play a scenario chat. Like oozing grove, not even close. Not even close. How many hours? I mean uh, many hours. <laughs> Yeah, many, many hours. Spicy. I think this is probably about six hours worth of play. Maybe even seven, eight. I don't know. So there we have it. That's another episode of Deadly in the books. Roadside ambush really caused me some issues. It did kind of tilt me a little bit at times because of just how hard it really was. But when we did finally finish it, by thinking everything through, going through all of the permutations and doing it on that final last turn of the game. Boy, did it feel good. And I'm so glad to have it done, but you can see why that scenario needed to be nerfed. Even though perhaps, you know, you could always drop down on difficulty. And I do think it was a, a mission that could have been done on a lower difficulty. But as you know, with the Deadly series, I'm a stickler for it. We got to try and do every single mission on Deadly. I was seriously considered dropping down to three mercenaries because a few other people in chat had commented and said they had a better success by dropping down to three with dropping the demo out and then maybe just playing with the other three because the demolitionist is maybe the weakest of the four characters. So that was considered, but... Ultimately, I just plowed on, plowed on, believing that we could do it. We just needed a bit of good RNG and we needed to play our best. And we finally did. But it did require a lot of retries. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you to all of my patrons for supporting. Their names are coming up on screen now. And in particular, thanks to Mike Kira, my legendary backer. It's awesome of you, dude. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to get involved in the Patreon, go to patreon.com slash request where I have early access videos of all of my guides will be up on there. So if you want to check them out, get early access to my character guides, then there you go. <laughs> And you know the drill. If you want to watch me live, come over to twitch.tv slash quest every Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday where we're playing the Deadly series. Pretty much every stream at the moment. Next week, we are going to be returning to the community save on Sundays. So that's going to be nice. But yeah, pop on over to the stream if you'd like to watch an episode live.
All right, all that's left for me to say is thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Bye. Well, I think it's still, yeah. Oh, 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 that's the blessing so, from... Uh, uh, Isaac, at this point, can we uh, get your approval to add an additional attack modifier deck uh -huh. for allies in the digital... <laughs>